And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Air Podcast. It's Money Monday, and we got Brandon Carter House, a.k.a. Yeah. King Kilo, baby. Let's go. Yeah. Let's get into it. Dom, the mom, go. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Air Podcast, man. Uh, it's Money Monday, and we got Brandon Carter in the house, man. We're going to teach you guys how to dominate 2022, but quick announcement before we get happy into the new show. Year. Yeah, happy New Year, this guys. This is the first Ninjas. Monday of the new year, man, so shout out to y'all, man. Happy New Year to everybody in here. Let's get it. Got, giving y'all some value already. So real quick, guys, patreon.com slash fresh is the beginning of the month, so if you guys want to see us womanize, do Zoom calls, help you guys with you know making money, getting all that type of stuff, go ahead and check us out on patreon.com slash fresh fit. You tired of getting, being fat and not getting your dick sucked? We got you. We will teach you man, how to get your dick sucked. we have an announcement in the middle of the show. Uh, behind the scenes at the yacht party, true for a day, what happened? Oh yeah, we'll show you. Like, like, yeah, what uh, happened? You know what? You know, you know, we'll show you. At they got to say, show. Yeah, yeah, we'll show. We'll show it in the middle of the show, yeah, potentially, yeah, okay. potentially, <laughs> or with the girls, one of the two. Yeah, maybe. Also, maybe. guys, Spotify, Google Apple Podcasts, every single platform you listen to podcasts, we are there. Link yeah. is below. Check us out, whatever destination you like to listen to your podcast. Also, fresherpodcaststore.com. Get the merch, guys. T-shirts, unplugged fitness legacy shirts like this one. Uh, I feel like, uh, for example, etc. All the merch that Fresh never wears is there for you guys to go and get ahead and get. <laughs> also, check us out on Fresh Fit Clips, guys. I don't know what what is that silk? It's it's velvet, what is this velvet? This is, this is rich, velvet? rich nigga shit, man. Sure, mm. Brandon knows. <laughs> Velvet. <Great. laughs> so, uh, all right, and then also, guys, check us out on Fresh Fit Clips. We got another YouTube channel. Check us out over there. If you guys don't have time to watch the full-on podcast, you want to want to get the best parts, the highlights. Check us out over there, and then also um, check us out. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, Fresh. You want to talk about your vlog channel, guys? For behind the scenes, man, we did a whole vlog at a yacht party. Mario was on the boat. Chris as well, and a bunch of girls. I, I wasn't invited. Mara hey was man, you wait. Wait, were you here? Yeah, man. Oh, damn. My bad, bro. Here. My bad. We got another one. There you go. Right, damn, we got Mario <laughs> on the boat, man. That's yeah. crazy, man. Dude, Yo, he was working the whole time. He could have taken my spot. I didn't want to go. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> nah, check out the vlog channel. 100 feet <laughs> away. Let's go. Um, And then also, uh, Chris, tell me about your Twitch, and then we'll get right into it. Merch Gang. Follow me on Twitch. Happy New Year's, Merch Gang. Aaron C. Poxon on uh, Twitch. Actually, Aaron Poxon. Let's get it. We out Shout out to Tom there. in the back, by Tom the way. In the back. Yo, That's our Tom YouTube in guy. The back. And then we got Trill in the house as well. Hey. He's in the darkness, though. <laughs> What's up, Trill? <laughs> but he's uh, white, though, Buck. Um, <laughs> okay, and uh, yeah, so let's get right into the show, man. Brandon. What's up, man? We know who you are. Come on, man. They might not know. They don't know. I hope they do. They, they should point. by now. That's why they broke. <laughs> 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 nah, man. My name is Brandon Carter. On Instagram, I go by name King Keto. I used to be a popular YouTuber, man, back when I posted <laughs> YouTube videos about uh, just under 800,000 subscribers. Um uh, you know, and now I run a you know a, a few businesses, one of one of which does multiple seven figures a year. And uh, today, man, I really just want to, uh, you know, Myron asked me to come on and talk uh, to to the to his viewers about goal setting, mm -hmm. right? How you can set some goals and really, you know, whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, how you make sure you can accomplish these goals, get some make whether it's making money, whether it's getting girls, whether it's getting fit, whatever your goals are. We want to show you how you can like set set those goals and make a detailed plan to actually accomplish them. Yeah. Right. And guys, Brandon's not playing because he has a whole whiteboard here. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I came yeah. to teach. He's not playing. <laughs> I came to teach. I ain't fucking with these niggas. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. man. I'm sorry. I took some I took some pre workout before this. <laughs> <laughs> is it okay? Is I, is, can no, you, no, can, you can, you can say fuck with these niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just don't do it. No, we keep it. We keep This is a fresh fit, baby. We're not politically correct. We keep it real out here, man. So, um, so yeah, no, guys, for some of y'all that don't know, uh, I'll give you guys a quick little, um, I guess, go down memory lane real fast. So, uh, Brandon's my mentor, guys. He actually helped me start my, my fitness business and get into this entire world of digital marketing, mm. you know, making money on the internet, etc. So I started... Uh, you know, my online fitness business, Unplug Fitness, right? Which I got the legacy shirt on for you guys today, which is in stores right now, FreshPodcast.com, right? And then, um, and then from there, I was able to expand on YouTube and you know, selling courses, etc. And uh, Brandon was there with me pretty much every step of the way, helping me out. Way, yeah, man. And um, and yeah, man, uh, I attribute a lot of my success to to his coaching, his mentoring. You know, he was there when everyone was coming at us back in August, cool, and you know, man. obviously yeah. we rose up and you know, doubled our subscribers, and we're killing it now. So Come it on, is man. what it is. And by the way. 
men lie, women lie, numbers don't. The numbers the don't number lie. one most super chatted uh, uh, YouTube channel in the United States of America. Oh, let's go. Double the bar. I think at this point we're adding some value to people's lives, right? And then I think we're number thirteen in the world. Yeah. Number one, and and I think we we're the first. Yeah, we we're the first American country, the first American YouTube channel on the Playboard. And the other twelve in front of us were like anime chicks. We can't. I mean, come on, let's be you, ain't you can't be beat those. You can't be nuts. You can't beat this. Yeah, yeah. But, so, that's all thanks to the whole family that we have here at Fresh and Fit. Exactly. And adding value to, and our great guests as well on the show. So show exactly. to you. Exactly. And for some of y'all that don't know, you know, Brandon, he's he's being humble about it. He's a multimillionaire. Obviously, scaled several businesses up. He's owned a supplement company. Uh, obviously, he teaches guys how to turn uh, their online fitness business into six figure business mm-hmm. per year. T- teaching guys how to make five to ten k in their first month or so. He did it for you. And he did it for me. You know what I'm saying? And I did it part-time. Remember, guys, I was working for the feds at the time, and I was able to still do it part-time and, you know, earn uh, six figures a year. Uh, on top of my my uh, my government salary, which that money I took and invested into the studio. To this, you, so that's how. Yeah, am I responsible <laughs> for the first <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> pretty much. A big you part of the money. The yeah. You guys did it. You know what I'm saying? A big part of the it. money. No, for sure though. But like for real, like like um, because I took my my government salary. Obviously, I lived off that, and then I saved the money I made from the fitness business, and then uh, and then I was able to take that money and invest it into the business. Come on. And uh, and we're here now, and uh, you know that's the beauty of having a side hustle that. Can, uh, can, that you can save some money with to start off your hustle and then eventually use it to transition away from your 9 to 5, which we'll do a pod for you guys on that. Yeah. But without further ado, man, I'm going to shut the hell up and I'm going to turn it to you, bro. What should people do in 2022, Brandon, if they're tired of being man. broke? Man, Sorry, right. bro, Mario, you want to read the chats first? Oh, yeah. Let's hit the... You got to read the chats first, man. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, we'll do that. I just want to give you all the value. I'm so excited, man. Yeah, I just want to <laughs> give you all the, the value, man. It's a new year. So, okay, Yo, real quick. I'm, imagine one Myron. We've got two Myrons here. Literally. <laughs> or two Brandon, Brandon Carter's, by the way. Very similar. Uh, so yeah. you got, uh, okay, Okay, we got what do we got here? Okay, we got uh, uh, one second. There you go. Okay, okay, cool. So we got uh Spin City Performance. Thank you so much. Ten bucks. Salute FNF. Uh, HTT in the spot. Hashtag Cha Ching. Looking forward to my first six figs and meeting y'all in person. Twenty two and twenty two. Yep. Then we got Ricky, Ricky Webster, Webster. Ten bucks. First shot. A big shout out to Brandon and to the entire Fresh Fit family. French Toast props too. I think Ricky is the first one of the year. Thank oh, you so much, yes, Ricky yes, man. Yeah. Hey man. Shout out Ricky man. And then call yep, me Hefe. Donating because I feel like I owe y'all because money two times credit up and looking at real estate. Y'all like my mentor in a way. One million uh, on the way. Stay over there. Thank Good you so job, much, my bro. Guy. Let's go. Good job, bro. d nice two bucks. Happy New Year. So proud of y'all. Brandon, a boss. Facts. Facts. Boss. And yeah, then man. last There's one, KG. That <laughs> hey, gents. Glad to see you working hard. I have a question for you. I'm making 110K a year, but I work 85 hours a week. Should I pay off my debt, student loans, or save to start or save to start a side business? Good question. Yeah. Chris, can you save that? Uh, yeah. Save that one? That's fine. Because uh, that's going to probably be answered during this podcast. Way to pros and the cons of both. And then Mike Dog Bit. Brandon, loyal as fuck. Good to have people with you uh, the whole way through. Respect for Brandon and never diss an FNF when they were down and everyone after him. Facts. It's true. And now we up. Yeah, you know fact, what I'm saying? I hit him up. I hit him I was like, yo, I didn't know you personally at the time, but I hit Myron up. I was like, yeah. yo, man, like, you know, we, we, just, we talked and gave advice. We ran stuff in, um, you know, you when you when your boy, you really you know who your friends are. Like when when shit hits the fan, you know what I'm saying? Facts. That's that's real shit. That's a know? fact. Yeah. That's a fact. Um, appreciate you guys and the info y'all provided. Five bucks. Loose uh, pussy, loose energy. pussy <laughs> energy. Okay, loose <laughs> pussy energy. Thank you. Yo, these names be having me dead. Oh man. But uh, and then KG. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm about to call. Oh yeah. Okay, that that's one. the one thing. Okay, so uh, so Brandon, people are so somewhat. Okay, it's 2022. 2022. People are tired of being broke. It's tired of being. Broke. They're doing you know? their New Year resolutions now. Yeah. yeah. So how. Uh, how should people uh, tackle this uh, this issue of not having money and figuring out how to plan their dominance of 2022? All right, all right. So, uh, what what do you think your the main goals are for your subscribers? Is it money? Like like right now? Like they, they're trying to get more money? The people who are watching here, who, who am I talking to? Guys I would assume if money? they're here for money Monday, I would hope so. Yeah, the money, money. All right, so they want some money. All yeah, right. they want some money. They want to get money to get girls, you know, have a good lifestyle, pretty much. And they want some of these velvet shirts, man. I'm so distracted. <laughs> I don't know, shirt. I know. <laughs> I'm so just fucking distracted. <laughs> no. I've only seen one nigga with a shirt like this. <laughs> His name. Hello, Cool J. No, no, no. It's this nigga named Saucy. He was like a real pimp. Mm-hmm. Saucy. Like, like, not like a, a pimp, like the rappers. Like, he was like. Legit. Yeah, he went to jail for for being a bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then he stabbed someone. You know what I'm saying? But, oh, oh, shit. Yeah. This is a long time ago. A long time ago. Uh, yeah. But he's my boy, Saucy. Yeah. And he used to wear stuff like that, man. You know what I'm saying? So you, just, you remind me of Saucy. Yeah, man, gotta say fresh. Yeah, man. Shout out to Saucy. Saucy's dead. He killed himself, man. <laughs> Last year. No, this is a true story, <laughs> man. True story. No, it's sad. <laughs> it's sad. That is so straightforward. Well, listen, you know, <laughs> Saucy didn't accomplish some of his goals. Yeah, I'm sorry. So we're gonna Talk about how you can accomplish your goals, man. Saucy, so you don't meet the same. Saucy, don't be saucy, man. Yeah. 
Yeah, man, you fucking stabbed him. Uh, <laughs> like, it, was, it was fucking wild, bro. All right. Uh, uh, shout out to uh, Brandon uh, is so funny, bro. Yeah, it's <laughs> just like it was hilarious. <laughs> Oh, shit. Pimping too hard. Yeah, he's pimping <laughs> yo, man, too, too pimping too hard. I was like, yo, fuck it, man. I'm gonna do this in heaven. Man, you know hey, what I'm saying? When when you deal with girls, man, you know how it is, man. Come on, man. These chicks <laughs> drove them crazy, man. You know, he's out here stabbing niggas. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, I'm sure that's not their goal. So we want to show them how yes, yeah. not. Yeah, I hope goal. that's not what y'all are trying so to don't go. go to hopefully not. For a well, man. RP saucy. That's like a turn. Yeah, rest in peace, saucy man. He's a R- good dude. You know, um, aside from like Stop pimp, me pimp, pimp, stabbing people and pimping women, <laughs> he was a good dude. A cop <laughs> trafficking and stabbing people. God All right. <laughs> Yeah, he had redeeming qualities. What I'm trying to say, nice shirts, nice shirts, like yourself, right? Good taste in wardrobe. All right, let's get into it. Goal setting. All right, you guys want to get some fucking money, right? These yeah. guys want to get money. All right, well, here's, here's, here's the thing. What, whatever your goals is, you know, in, including money, right? The first thing you need to do, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get up here and draw in a minute, but before we even start talking about it, because I, I got some stuff I want to show you, and it's going to be really important. There's like steps to accomplish your goals. But, but it starts with the mindset, right? Like you can't. So a lot of you guys set goals, and if I was to hear your goals, mm-hmm. most most people's goals, it's like some bitch nigga shit, right? It's like it's some average retarded shit that like anyone could do, right? Like you need to set goals. I firmly believe this: mm-hmm. goals that you're not currently capable of accomplishing. Mm-hmm. And then let me let me tell you why: because if you only set goals that you're capable of accomplishing now, it places a limitation on how high you can set your goals, right? Facts. And and and. Worse than that, though, worse than that, if you if your goals, if you're capable of accomplishing your goals, right, then you won't be like currently, then you won't be forced to grow. See, if you set goals that you're not currently capable of accomplishing, you'll be forced to grow and improve and learn more and evolve. Right. It's going to force you to evolve. You get what I'm saying? Right. For for example. You didn't know how to run a podcast when I met you. You didn't know. Hell no. You didn't know shit about sound. You got sound stuff in here, all these cameras, you know, you got equipment, you got employees. You didn't know how to do that. You had to grow mm-hmm. to, to become where you guys are at right now. None, Absolutely. I'm, I'm sure you probably didn't know this stuff either when it's, you started. It's funny because. You still don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't seen this nigga do shit. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> I've been here four times. <laughs> but he's good at you good at it though. Yeah. Like you killing that doing nothing job. <laughs> like you you like a legend when it comes to that shit. Apparently I'm a scammer too. <laughs> no, but like but like no, you're right, because I have a goal board, right? Yeah. I have two columns. Short term and long term. Mm. Long term, I know I can't do right now. Yeah. But in the future, hopefully I can. Yeah. So with the right mindset, I wake up in the morning and see my goals. Like for example, buy a Lamborghini. I didn't mm-hmm. think that was possible because you feel me like back then I was working a regular job, Chick Fil A, blah blah blah. Yeah. But it said, you know what? I'm gonna work on myself each and every day so that hopefully in the future one day I can actually afford it. But having that goal right there, I can I can reach right there and then. Right. Help me improve. Right. And you're gonna have to you're gonna have to you're gonna have to improve and grow to Perfect. become the person who's capable exactly. of getting that Lamborghini or whatever your goal is. Right. right. You got to become. You, so it's, it's it's really important. So when you're setting your goals. Because the shit I'm about to teach y'all, it's like high-level shit, man. Mm-hmm. So don't use it to fucking lose 10 pounds, right? <laughs> don't lose it to make to, to save $10,000 or some shit, right? Yeah. Like, like set big, aggressive goals, right? That is going to force you to grow and become bigger and a better person. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, like the, the way you guys have. Like, so that, that's, that's foundational. Like, that, that's foundational. We, got, we need to start there. The, the next step, the next step is it can't just be a good idea, right? You don't, I, I said this last time I was here, but I'll say it again, because I think it's critical. You don't, you don't, you're not going to get what you want, right? You're going to get what you have to have, right? If it's just a good idea, you'll never accomplish it, bro, right? It's going to be, you got ton. think of all the things that you wanted to accomplish that you didn't, right? Was, was it something that you wanted or something you had to have? Was it a must, right? I know the answer. If you didn't get it, it wasn't a must. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So you, you're not going to, again, you're not going to rise to the level of your ambition. You're going to fall to the level of your standards. So you have to say, listen, I it, the goal shouldn't be like, oh, I want to make $10,000. It should be, I will make no less than $10,000 no matter what. You know what I'm saying? 
ten thousand per month, right? And you know, ten thousand dollars is fucking poverty. But you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, know what I mean? you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if I made only ten thousand dollars, I'd fucking jump off the roof. <laughs> That's a high jump, though. This is the most educational, like, this is not shit, man. Rational, <laughs> not professional, oh, educational, <laughs> not professional. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> no, that, you know that's that's a fact, right? Because you know I'm I'm college educated. I went to Howard University, but I also came from the streets, South Side of Chicago, right? So it's like best of both worlds over here. <laughs> I like how you reframe it in the negative. Like you, you mm. it's not like oh, my goal is to make 10k per month. Yes. No, no, no. I will not make less than yes. 10k per month. Yes. You so it's almost you challenge yourself. So when you reframe it like that. That 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 almost puts a little bit more of a fire under your ass to get it done. Yeah, you. Don't I will want, not fail. Yeah, it's not. It can't be like. It can't be like. Hey, I just want this, right? Because it's all types of shit you want that you'll never get, right? It's got to be like, I will have this no matter fucking what. You know what I'm saying? And that's going to be a whole different kind of energy that you're going to put out there. You I, know what I'm saying? I heard a saying that said, "If you don't want it as bad as you, you need to breathe." You're not gonna get it. Yeah, man. E. The fat dude said, yeah. "What's his name?" Et. Um, Et. E. 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 Man, said, yeah, e. my fault. E. E. Et said that. No, he's a cool dude. I fucked with Et. I don't know why that. I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry. E. E. My, I'm sorry. He's a good dude, man. Uh, I'm, uh, yeah. I like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like him. Subscribe to his channel and everything. I don't know why I said that. I'm. I'm sorry. This is live. So there's nothing we can do. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't mean to, man. I mean, I ain't mean to. This nigga's so funny, bro. Like I fucks with the nigga. I digress. <laughs> you gotta have it. You got It's gotta be like you. You gotta have it. Like that's real yeah. important. Before, because I I'm, I can teach you guys all this stuff. But if it's you, if you just want it, or it's kind of just a good idea. You and, and if it's a big goal, because remember we said set big aggressive goals, right? If it's a big aggressive goal, <coughs> and you just kind of want it, mm -hmm. you know, you quit the first time it gets hard, or the first time it gets difficult, or you know, the first time something happens, right? That that that's not that doesn't work in your favor, or 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 you'll get distracted, right? If you just kind of want it. You know, because it's so it's so easy. It's easy to fall back on on you know to take the easy route. It's very easy to take the easy route. Like it's, it's, it's and it, it's and the problem with America is it's so easy. I'm sorry, it's so difficult to fail, like to really, really fail. I mean, there's such a, there's so many social safety nets. You know, you can Facts. get on welfare or get or it's like you can get a normal, a regular job. Everybody's hiring. You know, it's it's cool. It's so easy not to fail that most people would just you know go there you know like they say the, the road to success is paved with a, a lot of tempting parking spots mm, you know what i'm saying I like that right so it's like you know it's, it, it, it's it's easier to do that than to keep pushing forward right like you guys can stop where you're at right now but i see you like you know you know following on on, on instagram you you out grind, you grind you was like 4 a.m you were still setting up shit <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'm like yeah. it, you, you didn't you don't have to do that but you want to you want to keep going yeah right because you got big aggressive goals yeah, right? yeah. and he's still in the, in the gym too and, yeah, and, 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 and i'm not gonna lie this. like a, a big part uh, brandon i agree with you 100 on this i even reposted it on, on my instagram a big part of what what fuels me is that I have a deep hatred for my detractors. Like, I don't care. You guys can mm. clip that. I have a deep hatred for my detractors because I'm like, you know what? Yeah. We're just gonna we're not gonna mention y'all yeah. names. We're just gonna put out better content than you guys. Let the numbers speak for themselves, which they did in 2021, despite everyone trying to come at us. Yeah. We're gonna just put out better content than y'all, never mention you and yeah. kill you with success. Yeah. Bam. We're gonna make more money than you guys. We're gonna get more viewers than you guys. And most importantly, we're gonna help more men than you guys. Mm. That's the reality because we're providing value out here. This isn't some just dumbass entertainment channel. We entertain inter entertain you too, but we're gonna bring in the multimillionaires, help you guys become better men. And that, to me, is how I measure success. How many guys are messaging me mm. saying, "Hey, bro, I had a date. I was gonna kill myself, and I didn't do it thanks to you guys." Yo, this girl had me down bad, and I watched your guys's pod, and it made me change my mindset. Yo, I was gonna do some stupid shit. And watching your pod made me stop doing it. Come that's on. how I measure the value. So I'm like, you know what? That's what keeps me motivated. And then yeah. also just to prove all the detractors wrong and under and just become the best. So that's what fuels me. That's yeah. why I'm up at four in the morning doing all this crazy shit. Because I'm like, yo, we will not, like you said, the negative mind, the negative reframe is we will not fail. I yeah. will not accept it. Yeah. yeah. And, and then, for example, one Miller die trying because guess what? 50 Cent said it best. Get Richard die trying. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing for us. We got a goal of one million subscribers. Mm. Not just the surface level. Then once again for me, networking is like I go to the clubs, yeah, events, I see you, man. And it's like I meet celebrities. Like yo, I seen your show. This shit's lit. Facts. Like I fuck with yep. what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. 
that to me says a lot because guess what? We're regular dudes nigga a podcast. But yeah. if people in the body can see what, what we bring to, yeah. to the world, that's pretty dope, bro. And we don't need to insult other people to do it. And that's exactly. what something I pride myself on. Like, yo, we don't need to uh, make roast videos or none of that shit. We're going to keep getting giving value and then the market's going to decide. You yeah. know what, man? You know? What you said was, kind of, was really powerful. So a lot of self-help dorks would say like not that, not that that's bad right but i think yeah. it's great you know i remember I, I used to have like a list <laughs> i used to have like a list of people i hate right and every time i i, I felt i was like man you know you, you don't feel like doing mm-hmm. something you don't feel like mm-hmm. i just like look at that list and be like mm, all right i got it i better get to work <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? and the funny thing is once you once you do succeed it's like you don't even care yeah dude. right it's I, right you don't even care but, it, care. but it's, it's 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 a good fuel though yeah. right you know what i'm saying it's good it's good fuel to keep going through those through those times when it's difficult right you get, you get what i'm saying like one other thing too yeah uh, go, oh. go, go. no oh. a certain level like for example when you have a certain lifestyle and you live and you add value to people's lives you don't care anymore because yeah, you, you know what you're caring. doing you know what you're about and then for example let's say haters whatever guess what killing with success like you said earlier yeah oprah said what it oprah so like even oprah she said that um mm-hmm. Fuck, I forgot what the fuck she said. She's ugly anyway. Hard. It was hard. It didn't matter. But, but, uh, she didn't matter. But, but, uh, but Frank Sinatra said, yeah. you know, um, the best revenge is massive success. Yes. Bam. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I ain't going to even lie yeah. to you guys. I shouldn't be admitting this, but I'll admit it. I look at detractor videos and yeah. I look at detractor comments. And, I, and I'll purposely do it. It's like kind of a sick thing that I'll do. I'll yeah. look at it and I'll see them talking shit. And I'll be like, cool. Noted. Noted. Use right. it as positive. Use I it use as fuel, it. I literally, man. It's I fuel. see it. I make a mental note of it. I'm like, I'm a, I'm a fucking kill you guys this it's year now. Fuel, man. It's, that's yeah. and and you and I don't recommend you guys do this. Like I really, it'll it'll fuck you up. It's mentally. dangerous. But and it's gonna infuriate you. But for me, I look at it. I look at the haters. Like talking shit, whatever. I'll see the hit pieces, whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, fantastic. More fuel to the fire. I think it's. Thank I think you. it's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> see, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm a big, I'm a big believer yeah. in that because not say it's the only fuel you need. Like it's different fuels, right? There's different fuels because, you know, here, here's the thing. So there's studies to show Daniel Kahneman, Nobel Prize um, economist, in his book, uh, Irrational, um, Predictable Irrationality, he, he said that, you listen, you know, people would, he did a study where people would do, he two groups of people, and he, they would pay them to do something, right? I forget what the task was. Mm-hmm. They would pay group A to do something. And then but group B, they would, they would, they would get, if they didn't do that same thing, they, he would take away the same amount of money. I don't remember what it was. Let's say it was $100, right? So one would get $100, one would lose $100. And people would do more. Every time they ran this experiment, people would do more to not lose than they will to, to win. Me- meaning they, they they do more to... Um, Maintain. Yeah, to, to, to keep what they have, right, than they would to to, to go after some more, right? Mm. So so ha- how to relate to what you're saying is, right, if, if you don't work hard, well, the haters win. You lost. You get what I'm saying? For real. And, and here's the thing. All the shit they saying about you, if you fail, they right. You know what I'm saying? That goes for all of y'all. You got people talking shit about you. You got people saying wild shit about you. If you don't succeed, they're right. Man, you the know what I'm saying? The on you. Real talk. The burden <laughs> yeah, yeah. is on you. It's true. Like, they, when you're the attacky, so to yeah, speak. they're right. <laughs> so it's like, and so that's why I think it's, it's a lot of fuel, you know, going back to, you know, the Daniel Kahneman's example. It's like, you know, you will lose if you don't go hard, right? So you, sometimes you'll go, so you'll go harder to 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 not lose than you will to win, right? It, it has been proven over and over and over and over again, right? So that's why, and that goes back to what I'm saying. It's got to be a must. It got to be like, no, I will not lose. I will make this much no matter what. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because if you just want it, it, it doesn't have the same juice. You know, it's got to. It's got to. It's, it's really about raising your standards. Yeah. Right. It's really about raising your standards. You know, people's standards are so fucking low. Facts. Right. It's so low. Right. But you won't. You won't. You. You, you won't rise to your ambition. You're gonna fall to your standards. Right. So we, really, we have to raise our standards. Right. So if if your goal is to lose weight, right, it's like no, no, no. I will. I will maintain my diet no matter what. It's not like oh, I want to follow. I'm gonna do this no matter what. I'm gonna work out no matter what. You get what I'm saying? But if it's just like something you want to do is not enough there's not enough fire there you know what i'm saying you have to raise your standards mm-hmm. I, I think that's really important i think that's really important and, and th- those are the two foundation foundational, foundational things i want to talk about before i get into the real teaching set big aggressive goals bam big so aggressive one. goals right number that two scare you yeah it's just, just scare, scare you, you. Yeah. And, and, and more importantly than that even though right it's scare you right like you said that's that's a good point but it should also like it's, it's, it's going to force you to grow because yeah. you're probably not good enough right now 
to accomplish those goals. You probably don't know how to do this shit. You probably aren't good enough yet, right? But you got to be, You have, the, the beauty is that you have to become better to accomplish a big goal, right? Some shit you can do right now, you don't have to improve to do it, right? You can just go do it, right? And and that's, that's really a, a, an empty victory. You get what I'm saying? It's like if you have to grow and you have to overcome stuff and you have to like become a big, bigger, better man in order to accomplish that goal, that's that's something worth pursuing. Bro, yeah. I'll not forget, yeah. uh, it was like uh, 2 in the morning. I just finished my shift at AT&T taking phone calls, right? Mm. Make a $10 an hour, driving an hour and a half from home to work every single day. Bro, I was driving a 1992 Toyota Camry. Mm. Had a license plate, CEO life on license plate, right? People laugh at me when I come to work like, yo, you know, I see you, you're a bum, da da da, you're taking phone calls. And I was like, bro, you're right. At some point, if I want this line, want this lifestyle, I have to improve. Yeah. So what happened was that like, every, day, every day they laughed at me, made fun of me at work. I said, cool. I'm going to YouTube, learn real estate, learn mm. how to invest, and improve myself. And I'll practice. I had a mentor, and I'll go to studies, go to classes. And over time, I made more money. You know, I learned more stuff about marketing, Instagram, social, social you media. You had a you got a mentor. You said. Yeah. Okay, I, that's I, important. Mentor. Yeah. And then from there, I became the person I Myron saw as well that actually owned the Lambo and much more. So it's kind of like, yeah, the goal was on the table, on the table at that point that you said earlier. Yeah. But for me to grow and extend, extend myself, hey man, I had to go through the process. And look, you may not be there right now, but if you work on yourself. Uh, every single day yeah you got to you got there every day and that, that's a beautiful story you yeah. know and the, I would say the third piece of this is to find a mentor right it's because it's so know, one was an aggressive goal second is said aggressive goal you will not and then you make an aggressive goal that almost scares you and then the second one is you have to almost make it where you will not fail you, yeah you have, it has to be it has to be a must yeah not it's a, a must. must and then the third one was the third goal, one sorry. is, get, is get, get a mentor right you know what, what, whatever yeah. it is right like the mentor mentee relationship is is the for, only form of learning that almost never fails. You get what I'm saying? Like, there's a reason, you know, um, you know, Navy SEALs. There's the reason they don't tell them to go watch a bunch of YouTube videos or read a book and then go send them to war, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, they they train with people who who's already done what they're trying to do, of course, right? And then they get that they get that hands on, you know, um, that hands on training. Yep. Then they're then they then they're ready to go out and fight, right? And that it it never fails, right? Like that's 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 the most important thing, you know? You know what it is? It cuts the, le the learning curve. It cuts the learning curve, So, for curve, example, man. if it took me five years to learn that same skill that he already had, hey, because of him, in one year, I got that skill done packed. Yeah. yeah. No, 100%. Yeah. 100%. You know, and, you know, I mean, I'm not saying you can't get stuff from YouTube and, or books. Like, I read a lot, you know, and I learned a lot on, from from YouTube videos and stuff. But, I, but you know, what really took it to the next level is when I had got mentors in my life. And I, mm. I still have mentors. I still Same. aggressively yeah. go on mentors in other areas of my life. You know what I'm saying? That's really important. That's it's, really important. It's funny because I found all my mentors from YouTube. Yeah. Like I watch your content, met them in person, we connected on a certain level, and yeah. then you say, hey, you know what? YouTube, help you. books, you know, and... and and, and if you can't find or afford a mentor or whatever the case may be, then get books, you know, like, you know, you, you and until you can get to the point where you can get a mentor, because that's really going to speed things up for you. You know what I'm saying? A hundred percent. Because they don't always have to be in front of you all the time. They could be virtual or yeah. e even through a course or ebook. But yeah. the point is that, like, you're learning from their experience. Yeah. To how better your experience in this life. Yeah. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Or like, yeah. uh, you know, I, I, I mentored Myron. You know what I'm saying? You had mentors. You know, I had mentors, you know, and I still have mentors because I'm trying to get to like, you know, different kind of, uh, you know, I'm trying to get to eight figures a year. You know what I'm saying? I ain't there yet. You know what I'm saying? So I got men I got mentors to help me in different areas so I can get there. You know? And I'll and I'll say this just to kind of sum this up for the people out there. Time <clears throat> is the enemy of the rich. Money is the enemy of the poor. Mm. Rich spend money to save time. Poor spend time to save money. Mm. Let that sink in, guys. Yeah. That's why it's so important to have a mentor. So you cut the learning curve and don't lose your most precious commodity. It's time. not a dollar bill. It's your fucking time. time. You can always make more money, but you can't get time back. You can't get time back, man. Yep. You can't. You can't get time back, man. Like, and that's that's the that's the thing. You can always make more money. You can always make more money. And here's the thing: most of most people, most most people spend all their money anyway, right? You're gonna spend that money anyway, right? But you can always make more money, Facts. right? But you can't do that with time. Yep. You spend that time. That time's gone. It's gone forever. You ain't never gonna get that time back. Facts. Right? So you need you need to really. That's the best thing about having a mentor is speed. Like you said, the learning curve. Right, you know, um, it's important, man. It's important. All right, some chats, or you want to? Yeah, I'll read the chats real quick, and yeah, then we'll get the into chats. a lesson. I'm with it, man. And guys, like the All video right. real quick, because we about man. to give you a lot of sauce right now. Are they feeling this? So this far? is fire yeah. heat, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. Right, nice. The chat's going crazy. Fire emojis. <laughs> Brandon's the man. Yo, this is fire content. Hey, they love it. Time is uh, funny. King Life, five bucks. Yo, first say that rap I sent you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> rap. Shout out to you, King Life. Uh, did you get it? Uh, 
He sent some lyrics. We'll, 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 we'll review it right after the show, bro. Uh, Lorado was word, uh, but thank you, King Life. After the show. Uh, hey, Myron. No, because we got to show it the girls. We got to show it the girls no, after. Uh, Lorado's word. Hey, Myron, how did you find Brandon, and uh, was he initially willing to assist you with your fitness business? Absolutely. He was my mentor. Uh, XAAQ. Y'all make this time of day interesting. Salute. Thank you so much. And then this is Black Lemur's broke-ass cousin. Please tell him I need a loan. He's not t- taking my calls. I really need that Lambo. And that's broke broke Black Lemur. Okay. <laughs> is that Dave Chappelle's picture? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. And then... Uh, B- B- Bi- Man, I Big N8. Big N8. Okay. I fucks with Brandon's energy. He's like the he's like aggressively positive. That's what I be on. Made 110K last year. Barely hustled. 2022 going to be lit. It's I'm about to be hustling like a motherfucker. Let's get it. Absolutely, job, bro. Man. CJ job, Bond. Bro. Happy New Year from New Zealand. You guys are amazing, and thanks uh, and thanks every ounce of value you guys bring to the world. Question to Brandon. What With your high-ticket program, can you start a fitness online business with zero fitness experience? He's going to an- answer that for y'all. Don't worry during the yeah. show. And then uh, Nathan, two bucks from Great Britain. First Super Chat of 2022. Been here for a year now. Thank you so much. And then Fran Yesti, tips for balding young men. <laughs> <laughs> Shave it, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shave Take it, it off. Yo, all the coolest guys are bald. All right? All the coolest guys are bald. The Rock. You know what I'm saying? The Rock. Jason Statham. Mm-hmm. Um, um, Kobe. Michael. Kobe. Uh, uh, Kobe. Kobe right. uh, Jordan. Tupac. Brandon Carter, <laughs> Baltimore, Lord Jada Baltimore, <laughs> Vladimir Putin. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, it's the cool, all the cool. Yo, Jada. The club, man, fuck with us. So, uh, guys, <laughs> like the video. We're going to get into it uh, right now. So, uh, we got a whiteboard set up for y'all. This is yeah. a first on Fresh and Fit, first by the way. First time. So, if you're listening right now on Spotify or, or, or Google Podcasts or whatever, YouTube. you need to get on YouTube and open it up. Yeah. Uh, you know, which you should be having YouTube bread anyway at this point, guys. Uh, uh, YouTube listen, Premium. Listen, man, I'm going to just say this right now. Our podcast needs to be watched on YouTube. 100%. Yeah, y'all need to you watch need it on YouTube. You I get to. it. Sometimes y'all might not be able to watch it, but this is one of those things where you're going to want to see visually, gonna, see to I'm, believe. Baby. I'm gonna do my best to make the 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 motherfuckers on Spotify get get the message. You know, there you go. come back to come back to the YouTube if you want Spotify. Money Monday. You know hey, listen, I'm gonna talk about just goal setting in general and accomplishing goals in general. But I know some of the people. I said some people asking about online fitness business, right? Um, that's why we put the in the there's a link in the in the chat. It's a it's top a free book, yeah. free book in the description. It's called the Ten Commandments of Online Training. And it will really give you like the foundations of what it takes to run an online fitness business the way Myron did, the way all my students do. You know, my average student, my average student, man, in my mentorship program makes between five to ten k within the first <coughs> twelve months. They're making five to ten k a month. Damn, a month, right? Within the first twelve weeks, within the first twelve weeks, you know, in three months. So, you know, we put some free game in there for you guys. You there know you go. Yeah. All right. So get that book. All right. Now, now talking to this mic. There you go. Yeah, baby. Yep, I think we got go. you mm, on 15. Engineer. He's Dude, gonna. Dude, you, can you hear me, man? What's his name again? Yeah, we got you, cool. Mo. Big Mo. Big yep. Mo, man. I, yo, I, I forgot your name, but it wasn't disrespect. It was kind of. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, and yeah, just yeah, just talk close to it, and then you'll be good. All right, cool, so, man. Like like I'm like I'm in a like I'm about to start rapping. Cool. <laughs> hey, right. you should. <laughs> All right, there's three things you guys need to accomplish your goals. We're gonna get into it. So. Make sure y'all can y'all can see what I'm drawing. Get your notebooks out, guys. Get your notebooks out. Take notes, motherfuckers. To these. <laughs> All right. All right. Never mind. Okay. And it's so, nice and clear too. They can see a brand. You see good. It? All right. Yep. Bad. They can. Bad, Fantastic. Bad, bad. All right. Cool. So, with this now, you're gonna want. There's three things you need. All right. Let me let me write this with. Mm, what color? I'm gonna take all the caps off. <laughs> it's all good. All right. So first. First, you need to set goals. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna break this down, right? But it's goals. Oh, here's the thing. My handwriting is really bad. Don't worry about it. It ain't a big deal, <laughs> ain't a big deal man. When we you live. Know, we do it live. Have to write shit, man. We all type, right? Don't yeah. worry about it. We do all it right, live. Cool. So goals. You gotta set, you gotta have you gotta have goals. I'm, I'm gonna talk about setting goals in a minute, right? But first, goals is the first part of this formula. I call this the champion trifecta. Shout out to my back looking strong, right? All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> then you also need Discipline. I always spell this word wrong. See if I can get it right. There we go. I think that was right. I think I did that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got, got it, bro. Shout out to me. Hey. Y'all, know, y'all know I have dyslexia, right? I was diagnosed <laughs> with dyslexia. Yeah. So if anyone makes fun of me for spelling the word wrong and having uh, had bad hair running, it's basically a hate crime. <laughs> 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 and you should be ashamed of yourself. That's pretty cool. Right? <laughs> I can't even spell words right. And I'm rich, man. You fucking a good ass grammar, and you poor, man. You should be ashamed. All right. <laughs> Goals, discipline, and then here's the thing that a lot of people don't talk about: you need energy. Mm. 
You need energy. It takes a lot of energy to like go problems. after your goals and be aggressive, right? You know what I'm saying? To really go for it. Mm-hmm. Right. So this word is this, I call this the champion trifecta, right? And the and the reason is, all right. So let's say you got your goal, you got your goals, right? And you got discipline. That's gonna give you momentum. I don't know if you can see the green. I'll tell you here in a second. That's gonna give you momentum, right? So you're always moving forward. Maybe they can't see it. Don't worry. They can see it because it's small, but it's momentum, momentum guys. Bro. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> and then, all right. And if you have, and if you have goals and energy, right? You, then now you're going in what the right direction. Right. You're in the right direction, and you're moving forward. And here's the, here's here's where it's important. If you have discipline and you have a lot of energy behind your goals, right? That's going to that's going to you're going to be moving with speed. So you'll be hitting it faster, all right? It's real important. And if you have all those things, what are you going to get? Whatever it is you want, man. Most maybe it's money Monday, so let's say it's month, it's month, right? Now here, here's what's important. I'm going to get in. I'm gonna, there's three steps to each one of these. Oh, this, this one don't work well. All right, cool. There's three There's three keys to each one of these that we're going to get into, all right? You said the red don't work? Yeah, it don't work, but it's cool. Don't worry about it. Right. Get rid of it. Now, this, I'm going to get into it. The three there's three areas of each, right? But before we do that, here, here's what's important. Yo, fresh. Mm-hmm. Let's say someone has goals, right? They have goals. They they got that down pack, but they, and they have energy. They got all the energy in the world, mm-hmm. but they don't have discipline. What do you think happens, man? They're pretty much gonna have um, ideas and have a way to make things happen, but they're gonna lose focus because they're not yeah. disciplined to stay on, on track. Yeah, and they, will, will they accomplish their goals? No, nah, man, they're gonna fail, right? Mm-hmm. So you got you get you get you gotta have it. You gotta have that too, right? Okay, let's okay, let's say they got discipline, right? They're they're fucking what's his name, man? Um <laughs> A monk. They're a goddamn monk or a They're Missy Miyagi level. Shit. Yeah, like they are here, wax on, wax off. And they <laughs> all got, day. <laughs> and they got crazy energy. Yep. Man, but they don't but they don't have like they they, they don't have like goals. What do you think happens? Ooh. It's literally a gun with no direction. Exactly. You're shooting bullets in the air for no reason. Exactly, man. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, imagine your, imagine, imagine, um, your your car is full of gas. Your Lambo, mm-hmm. right? Your new Lambo, it's, it's nice, man. Full of gas, <laughs> and right, but you don't know, you don't have the directions of where to go, right? So you, you'll fail without that. Yep. Right? Is this making sense so far? Yeah. Yeah. yeah All right. 100%. Cool. All right. Now Guys, like the goddamn video right now, by the way. Legendary, like man. Man, you better like this video, man. All right, listen. Let's say you got goals and discipline, but you want to have energy. You a sick, tired motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What do you think is gonna happen? Like you have the ideas, you have all the uh, I want to say ammunition, but to actually execute, you can't yeah. because you're either sick or yeah, you know, incapable. Yeah. You don't have the stamina to actually accomplish it. Yeah, help, man. help as well. Through. If yeah. somebody got the Rona or the flu or the fucking cancer, they're not out here running around accomplishing their goals, right? Yeah, yeah they're, they're they're sitting around sick, right? So you got you got to have energy too. This is very important. Mm-hmm. So you'll fail without that. You you see how you need all three of these to accomplish your goals? Right. Right? It's kind of like a three-legged stool, right? If one of the legs breaks, what happens? Bam. Fall. Bust your, fall. Bust your ass, right? You know what I'm saying? That's Bing bong. And that's where a lot of you guys are now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You're missing one, two, or maybe all of them. And you ain't accomplish your goals, right? We will remedy that today. Like the video if you're feeling, if you, if you're feeling what I'm talking about. This is right? a very good... Uh... I want to say graph because this is covering a lot. Absolutely, because I remember I went to one of his summits and I was like, Brandon, do you want the board? He was like, Yeah. I was like, Yeah, I got the easel, man. Let's do it because I, I I think a lot of people are visual learners. Yeah. So this is going to be very important. I'm a visual learner myself, so this is fantastic. Go ahead. Sorry. You're, you're all right. So let's break down how you can get more of all of these. Right. Let's start. Let's start with goals. All right. So a lot of people have fucking goals and shit. All right. Say they have, they're making plans, especially New Year's. Right. Mm-hmm. You know. But the goals. A lot of people's goals is fucking weak. Yeah. Right, they just say, "Oh, I want more money," or like, "I, I, I, I what's, what's, what's give me some of the goals that you you hear people say?" It's almost intangible. I, like, want, I just want to make more money. I want to fuck more bitches. It's yeah. very vague. It's, it's vague, right? Yeah. So it has to be really clear. Yes. Right. It has to be clear, so clear that like a five year old can understand it. Mm. Right. So when I say clear goals, you want to have it like, so a, a good goal would be like the goal that we set for my, my, my students, my online training students, right? Mm-hmm. $10,000 a month. Yep. Right. But then we put a date on it, right? We put a date on it. So you got to have a goal and a date. A deadline. Yeah. A deadline. When you, when you want to accomplish it. Right. So we say, we say, yo, within 12 weeks, we want all our students making 10 K a month. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we help. That's what we help them do. So it's really important 
for you guys to have whatever your goal is to so it's, it's so clear that like a five-year-old can see if you accomplished it or not like by the time you get to the, the, the deadline right so it has a deadline and by the time they get there a fucking child can see if you hit that goal or not it right. has to be that clear all that vague fuzzy shit ain't gonna work you get what i'm saying yeah you, gotta, you guys it's so too ambiguous really clear, all right now now, if y'all and I know a lot of you guys are wondering how I do that for my students, you can we have a free ebook that you guys can can download. It's link in, below, uh, guys. It's in the, the top the, of the description, the description for y'all. And I ain't been on YouTube in a minute, man. <laughs> 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 All right. Clear. It's got to be fucking crystal clear. You get what I'm saying, All right? And then you need a detailed plan. <coughs> I know my handwriting is bad. I so zoomed in for them attention. for you. No, no, no. It's, it's good. It's good. It is terrible, but don't worry. I zoomed in for them, uh, Brandon, <laughs> so they can see what's going on here. You need a detailed plan. This is this is really important, right? Because, yo, man, uh, people don't people don't plan. They don't plan to fail. They fail to plan, right? You you need, a, you need a real plan for this shit. You can't just be out here hoping it happens, right? You need a strategy, right? You, you can imagine like, like when you were in law enforcement and you were about to go take down a bad guy. Or some shit. Yeah. Did y'all did y'all just go in there freestyling and no. see what happened? You need an operation plan. <laughs> yeah. You need to gather everybody up. You tell everybody their roles. You yeah. gotta do a briefing right before. If you mm -hmm. don't come to the briefing, you can't go to the raid. Yeah. So it's a hundred percent planned. Yeah. It's a, it's a it's a it's a you need a real plan and a real strategy. Plan attack. A plan, and now especially could, when it's life or death. Especially when it's life Which or death. Which with money, bro. it's li life or death, motherfuckers. It really yep. is. Yeah, man. Broke you know, or rich. Yo, Choose. here's the thing. I I think of money like air. Right? Real quick. I'm gonna get on a tangent, man. Go I ahead. think I think it's like oxygen. You know, people say money's not everything, and I, I feel what I understand why they say that. But I, I think it, it's not the most important thing in the world. The most important thing in the world is oxygen, right? You you can only live without it for a, a few minutes, yeah. and then you die. But we have so much oxygen that we don't have to think about it. Yep. That's how you want your money to be. You want to have so much money mm. that you don't have to think about it. Then you can Sheesh. focus on other shit. Right, like imagine if we had to think about where we're gonna get our next breath from all the time. <laughs> we had to worry about, man, I don't know how I'm gonna breathe tomorrow, man. Shit is crazy. I got to find some more air, yeah. right? Like we wouldn't be able to focus on nothing else, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's so true. And that's how it is. If your money gets too, the low. freedom is there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you're always like trying to get that next dollar and you don't have enough money, you don't have enough abundance that you could do other shit. You can't even focus on other stuff. You get what I'm saying? A lot of y'all are like, <laughs> a lot of y'all, you know. You up past your bedtime. You got to be up early to go work some job you hate. You it's know like, what I'm saying? It's like you're working hard, but you're not working smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, here's the thing. Again, I said this last time I was here. Broke niggas can't work smart. You got to work hard first. <laughs> Don't worry about working smarter. All right? If you was fucking, if you was smart, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be broke. All right? You, obviously, you can't work smart. Cause you broke, <laughs> bro. All right, so you got to work harder before you can work smarter, bro. I was, broke ass. I was so dumb. I worked two, <laughs> two jobs. <laughs> and that took all my time. So you're right. Yeah, I, had, I was dumb as fuck. Bro, I had four jobs. Oh shit! I had four jobs. I was out here fucking hus. I was waking up at four a.m. training people. Then I would, then I would um go. I, I would train people in Harlem, right? Shower at the gym. Take the subway all the way down to Soho. Damn. Right. And then work security for eight hours. Right. And then work for a moving company. And then on the weekends. I trained people and managed the restaurant. That's four jobs. You know what I'm saying? And um, because I, I didn't I wasn't smart enough. Mm -hmm. Right? And that's okay. It's fine. You know what I'm saying? You gotta work first you, you wanna work smarter once you smart enough to work smart. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fact. That's a fact. Because if you broke, you're fucking stupid, bro. Yo, man, fuck, man. Like you got stupid. Yeah. I'm it's mm -hmm. a line between motivational speaker and comedian with Brandon. <laughs> it's like a mix between both, which is great. <laughs> All right. Yo, like the video, guys. Like, Go like ahead, the Brandon. video, motherfucker, man. All right, listen. So you need a plan, though. You might need, you need a plan. You can't just be out here winging it. So how do you get the plan? You got to either study. You know, again, you got to get smart to work smart, right? Mm -hmm. You need to either study. Maybe you got to, I don't know, depending on what your goal is, maybe you got to go to school. Maybe you got to take some courses. Maybe you got to get a mentor, right? Maybe you got to, but you don't want to try to be figuring this shit out on your own. You want to find somebody who's done what you want to do, right? And they probably teach it. There's probably someone who teaches it, right? You need to find out what they did and try to replicate those results in your own way, right? Don't don't be out here trying to invent the wheel. You ain't got to. You get what I'm saying? Someone's done it. Someone's done it, man. Yeah. Like, can you imagine if you just said, nah, I don't want to fuck with this elementary school shit, man. I just want to figure out algebra on my own. <laughs> yeah. I just want to figure it out, man. Now I know, now I know numbers. You know what I'm saying? I'll just figure out. Nah, yeah, you had to invent algebra. 
When, when someone already did it and they laid it out, why would you do that? Right. You get what I'm saying? It's retarded. Right? You stupid. You want to get a, a detailed plan. This is very important. It's very important. You want to follow it. Listen. Um, if, if online fitness business is something you want to do, we have a we we put together a plan for y'all. Like you know, um, it's a link in the description. Tech and Maps online training is free. Download that. Um, but whatever your plan is, or whatever your goal is, you need a detailed plan. All right. Now here's where here's where the magic happens, guys. Once you have your plan, all right, you need deadlines for every step. Mm. I feel, I feel like, I'm, like I'm in church right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You should, man. You gotta catch the Holy Ghost. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm going to pass around the offering plate in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> you need deadlines for every step. So, like, basically, let's say you already know how to do it. You just, you all right, so you write down every step, put it in order, right, and put a deadline to when each one is going to be accomplished. You get what I'm saying? When each part of the step is going to be accomplished. And if it's, I'm going to go off on a tangent on this because it's important. Go whatever ahead, man. Go whatever ahead. plan you have, there's probably going to be two parts of it. Mm -hmm. Two parts of, 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 each, of two kinds of steps. There's going to be one time steps. For example, let's say I wanted to get a car. I just moved to Miami. I might need a car now. Mm -hmm. All right. So the first thing I need to do is learn how to drive and get a driver's <laughs> license. <laughs> now I know how to drive. I just don't have a driver's license because I lived in New York for 17 years. You know? yeah. And um, I lived in the middle of Manhattan, man. It was lit right next to Central Park. But anyway, mm -hmm. um, the, the first, so let's say, let's say that was my goal, right? All right. So the first step would be fucking. Uh, take the driver's test or whatever, you know that those that kind of step is like a one-time task, yeah. right? That's when you put a deadline when you're going to do it. Now let's say it's another kind of goal, like you want to get in shape, right? That's going to be yep. full of recurring tasks, of course. You get what I'm saying, like stuff you have to do every day. Yep. Like I got to hit my macros yep. every day. I gotta I gotta work out, you know, every day or however whatever your plan, right? So when you take your your recurring task, and here's where it gets magical. You got to put it in your calendar. Right, you should be living out of your calendar. This is important. You put you put both tasks in your calendar, but the recurring task should be uh, should be going over and over again. Right. For example, I can look at your fun fucking calendars, guys, and I can tell your future. Right. I can tell your future. Like if you look at my calendar, it's just, it's, I don't know if they can see this shit. Yeah, oh sure. wow. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm not out here fucking around, man. This is why I got so much money, nigga. <laughs> look. <laughs> that neck, it's that, that camera lit. lit. I'm not out here fucking around. That it's that. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But it's like. If, if you got white white space is the devil, man, right? Like I got I got all the shit in here, that, you know, is, and it's all related to my goals. Yep. Every day, like shout this, out to Trill scene as well in the back that helps yep. you with that yeah, helps with significantly. That. Well, 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 yeah, when Plans you run, when you running shit on my level, like you might need you know uh, help. You know what I'm saying that's hey, why man. I got my man yeah. Trill. Every nigga needs a, a white guy. <laughs> you do though, man. Y'all got y'all got, got a white guy right there. Shout out to the white guys in the back, man. What's he doing? Shout out to the white boys. He's over there doing the counting or something. I see him. White boy music. Come on, man. White boy music. These guys. But no, no, seriously. But on some real shit. All right, let's get serious. Let's get serious. The calendar, man. This is the, this is the most this is the most important app you can get. Yeah, is your calendar. You should be living out of your calendar, right? Your whole fucking day should be outlined, right? It should be no. I I I, I can tell you what I'm doing. Like, pick any day. I can tell you what's going on, or like what I'm gonna be doing, like in in the, in the near future, because a lot of it is my recurring tasks that I have to do to, to get me closer to my goals. Mm -hmm. And the ones my whole year is planned out. It's in the calendar. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Because I got I got big goals. And I made detailed plans, deadlines for every step, and everything's in the calendar. Does this make sense? Yeah. You guys are getting more articulate as like well? Like the video, guys. I'm actually going to apply some of this stuff in my life. After yeah, this. you should, man. How'd you even make it this far without this <laughs> shit? <laughs> I'm shocked. If you if you walking around here with velvet shirts <laughs> and you ain't even doing this, imagine how imagine what you could accomplish. The guy's goal is you're gonna be a, you're gonna be a trillionaire. Yeah, it's true, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Got over a hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry and a velvet shirt on. <laughs> do none of this. The finesse, dog. <laughs> The calendar is the most important productivity app. You can it's the only one you need. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I now if I use Google Calendar, that's what I suggest because it's, it's free. It's simple. It's simple. Mm -hmm. It syncs with iCalendar, it syncs with everything. And 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 you can really like set up your re recurring tasks, right? I, I know exactly when I'm gonna work out every day. You get what I'm saying? I know when I know when I'm gonna go to sleep. I know when I'm gonna wake up. It's whole like when when your goals are as big as mine, you have to you know, like you said. Time is your most important asset. Bruce Lee said, if you love life, don't waste time because time is what life is made of. 
Damn. You get what I'm saying? I have a question. What if something comes up in your life and it's like, okay, I have a set date to go to the gym or yeah. do this, but like, how do you maneuver if like something comes up like randomly? Yeah, it depends on it depends on what it is. Okay. You get what I'm saying? It depends on how important it is, right? Like, um, for example, for example, um, I switched my bedtime tonight, right? You know, because I wake up at like four or five every day, uh. get this money. But, you know, Myron said, yo, yo, come on the podcast. I want to talk. I want you to talk about goal setting to my people. And I was like, all right, cool. Then I, I push it back. You know, so you, you make adjustments. OK, for sure. It's kind of like when you said when you had those battle plans, when you was going taking down bad guys and shit. Yeah. Right. I'm sure shit would come up and you'd have to change the plan. Of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of it, course. It, it's cool. It's cool. Right. You know, like. It's it's fine to make adjustments, and and here's the thing, dude. You're also the more you do this, the, the better you'll get at making plans. Yeah, mm. you get what I'm saying. You become proficient at making contingencies. And how to say no is very important. How to say oh, no? Oh man, we're gonna get to that. <laughs> we're gonna get to that when we get. Let's bring discipline. Okay. So all nice right, transition. so we got the goals. We got the goals set up, right? Hold on. Can we take a quick break? Because the chat is loving this. They want to uh, chime in as well. They're loving this. All right, real quick before we get into discipline. Take take a breather. Okay, all right, Nathan. uh, Wait, nope, sorry. Uh, Let's see here. You're refreshing it? Okay, no, uh, we're. Nope, read that one. Okay, uh, Quiz, five bucks. F and F, the best in game. Keep uh, giving value. Numbers don't For lie. Sure. Facts. True. King Life, twenty bucks. Guys, I can tell you this: the BS that happened in August and how Myron kept working his ass off while people tried to destroy us is why I got his back. This dude is a machine that won't stop haters down forever. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate You're that. King Life. Yeah, King Life is one of our shooters. Lewis Hanna, uh, it's the difference between want and desire. You talk about what you want, you go after what you desire. If you mm. go after nothing, that's what you desire. Facts. Well twenty said. bucks. Ian Simmons. Shout out to Dan Locke. Yep. Shout out to Dan Locke. Ian Simmons. Uh, a big Gene, big Jim Mel. Born all the way from Australia. Australia. Happy New Year from Australia. Fresh Fit changed my life 1,000% regarding detractors and your success. Wolves never concern themselves with sheep's opinions. Facts. True. Desmond Montgomery, Fresh ET, the hip hop preacher, would be a great guest. I don't know if he'd come on, but it would be good to ask. We okay. Could, we could reach out. And then Joseph Bell, big 100 hour super chat. Thank you, bro. The only Marco, most fire Marco, podcast Marco, on YouTube. Marco. None but facts being spoken. You will only reach success when you have nowhere else to go. Appreciate the game, FNF. We got you, bro. And then yeah. I move Myron Cooks, five bucks. I've tried many times to lose 22 pounds. I get discouraged the more I try. Uh, and go back to my family that coddles me and sometimes help me to fail. Yeah, don't be a mm. pussy, man. Your family's always going to put you in the comfort zone, which is not going to help you succeed. You got to learn how to become comfortable being uncomfortable. That's get, the best we're, advice we're I can We're going to talk give. about that. We, I got some yeah. shit that's going to help him in particular. Bam. Right? And you may need to get away from your family, bro. Uh, raid, 10 bucks. No plan is a plan to fail. Facts. Yep. Uh, five bucks from Scotty Brown. Great fucking episode. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you. Also, can you get Luffy's hat? Luffy. Use it. Luffy? Okay. Yeah. For, Use for it as one, a cap hat. Would technically represent Brazil. Okay. One, one piece. Oh, okay. Come, come on. Lorado's word. Five bucks. Most mentors are not willing to assist you unless you've done something yourself to show you're serious. How true is this, Brandon? Yes. We'll cover that as well. Because right. you got to help yourself first. Kyle yep. Taylor, yo, please keep bringing him back with more of this. Yeah, he's in Miami now, so y'all going to see him yeah. quite often. Yeah. Just move to Miami, man. He's going to be a regular on we the show, Miami. guys. Don't worry. Yeah. You guys going to see Brandon a lot more. You're going to get tired of him. Make yeah. fun of you telling yeah. you that you're poor. <laughs> <laughs> Scar the God, and 20 fat. bucks. And fat. Shout out to F and F. I'm joining Brandon's program, HET, this Friday. Fantastic. Shout man. out to Mark Lee uh, Lenahan. For sealing that deal, and I'm picking up two engineering jobs, trying to work myself to death to hit le- no less than a mil in five years. Congratulations, nice, bro. Mm-hmm. Will. Twenty bucks. Brandon Carter, Zuby, Andrew Tate, Justin Waller, and Sterling Cooper are easily y'all's top guests. Some high quality content, no doubt. Much appreciated, fellas. We got y'all. Good CJ dudes. Bond, Richard uh, Bandler said it perfectly. It takes adequate planning to be disappointed. Facts. And then two bucks. Uh, Fresh Velvet CEO, Myron B- Blicky Gaines, Brandon Money, and then last one, Sean P. All the way from Great Britain. Fire five content. bucks. So we got New Zealand, Australia. Uh, Great Britain in the house. Yeah, Europe. All over. Shout out to all y'all. Canada, okay. everybody. And Canada as well. And then um and then last one. What okay, who's the mentors? Who's the mentor? Who's the mentee? Brandon Carter or Myron? Brandon is my mentor, guys. Jeffrey mm-hmm. Dubs. And then five bucks, Jason Records, five bucks. Y'all sitting up in there comfortable. This dude fresh looking like Hugh Hefner with the pajama shirt on. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> I knew hey, that man. was gonna come. I'll take it. Bring the hose. All right, so sorry, Brandon. So we're gonna transition over good. to uh discipline. Right. So, first part, okay. So what uh, before we get into this, as you can see, each one of the steps in the circle, each one gets a little more sophisticated, right? Mm-hmm. Clear goals, all right, cool, you got it, all right? Detailed plan, oh, now you see it's getting a, it's getting a little more sophisticated. Almost nobody has this, deadlines for every step in it's their plan. It's a fact. And almost nobody's using their calendar, but the people who are, they're winning, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, live out the calendar, all right? So we're going to do the same thing. Each one of these is going to get more sophisticated as well, all right? So first part of discipline, I'm just going to write do because it's a whole sentence, right? But... It's what I would that stands for discipline. Do what you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do it, whether you feel like it or not. Mm. I'm say it again. Can you say it again? Yeah. Discipline means you do what you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do it, 
whether you feel like it or not. Just one more time, please, for the audience. Yeah, yeah, no you know, problem. hold on. I'll do this. Rewind yeah, sound rewind. effect for him, too. Rewind. rewind. You guys got to hear this three times because it's that important. Slow it down. I just dissed you. Yeah. No. Discipline. Discipline means that you do what you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do it, whether you feel like it or not. Bam. It's important because you can have all these plans and all these goals and all these things you want to talk. Everybody talks a big game about it. Facts. But when it comes down to it, they might say shit, oh, well, I don't feel like it or, or I'm not motivated or whatever. Who gives a fuck about how you feel, right? It's what do you want. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Fuck your feelings. Emotions, it, you, your emotions ha, ha, have no value <laughs> when it comes to doing what you're supposed to do. You did it or you didn't. Right, fuck how you feel in the moment because your emotions will change up and down. They go up and down, man. You can't base these decisions off that because they change from moment to moment. You know what I'm saying? I'm, it, you might have been sad today and happy later, right? You, you want to let something so flimsy affect what you your accomplishment? Mm. You know. And here's the thing, my man Tate. He was on here. Yeah, that's my boy, man. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's, my, Andrew Tate. that's my dog, man. Like I, I, I hung out with him. He's, him and his brother, they they real cool dudes. You know. Mm. Um, he came on here and said depression wasn't real. Remember that? Yep. Right. Yeah. I want to take it a step further. Because depression is just an emotion, right? Emotions aren't real. And, and what, what I mean by that, what is emotion? Anybody know what an emotion is? Like, what is it? Um, Temporary feeling. It's like a feeling. What's a feeling? A change in, in, in state. Of yeah, change in state. Your, your, your current, um, I guess, awareness. I guess? But if we if we go if we go on 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 a real neurological level, it's nothing but, right? It's nothing but you know different neurochemicals going going off in your brain. Electrical impulses happening in your brain. It's literally all in your brain. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yep. Fact, matter of fact, I can change your emotion right now, right? Some of you guys, if you have a pet, I want you to imagine your pet walking like you got a dog. You got a dog, right? Yeah, I got yeah he got a dog. Right, man, she, she fuck that nigga, bro. She be in I hate his dog. Right, cool. Wait, <laughs> what's your dog's name? Uh, Hero. Hero. All right. So imagine Hero walks up in here, man, and then he looks at you. He goes, <laughs> and then just dies. Sounds just like him, too. <laughs> and just dies right in front of you. You see his face? Yeah. I changed his emotion. And then I kick it him while he's even, dead. Listen, listen. Yo, you watch then it. I kick him while he's it's, dead. How you going to feel, bro, nigga? It didn't even happen. It didn't even happen. It's, it's not real. But, you know, just you thinking about it, it changed your emotion. We it saw did. it on your face. It did. Just you're saying, you know, that's how flimsy emotions are. Okay. You're going to let something that flimsy Thank God. Uh, affect, affect your fucking, <laughs> affect what do you do? I didn't say that. Affect your accomplishment? Your dog is fine. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. gone. Price is averted. He might it's be happy. <laughs> Hero be taking up a lot of his time. No, I'm just kidding. But you know what I'm saying? That's my dog right here. Yeah. Your dog is beautiful, man. Thanks, He's happy man. and healthy. He can't wait Fuck to that see nigga. you. Right. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying? Like your emotions can change at any moment. Instantly, instantly. I just changed your emotion instantly. in a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So fuck your emotions, man. <laughs> just do what you're supposed to do. Sometimes you'll be happy. Sometimes you'll be sad. Who gives a fuck? Right. Right? Do what you're supposed to do. Mm. Right? Because emotions change at any moment, man. They're not real. Facts. It's fucking, it's literally, emotions are literally all in your head. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you just got sad for a second, and, and, and anyone would have, right? Anyone would have. If you would have did that same experiment with me and my son, I'd have felt it, right? Yeah. It's not, it's not an indictment on you. It's just how it is. Emotions just fucking change willy-nilly, yeah. man. It's bullshit, mm -hmm. right? It's literally all in your head. It did. It was. It didn't happen. It literally wasn't real. It wasn't tangible. It just happened. It was literally all in your head. So fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> if you're sad, still fucking work, right? If you if you're fucking upset, still work. If you're not motivated, you don't need to be motivated. You just need to fucking do your work like a man, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you just Yo. need to be a G and don't be a fucking pussy, yeah. right? So do what you're supposed to do. When you're supposed to do it, whether you feel like it or not. Right. Here's the thing. Emotions change all day, every day, right? You, you, might, you might have been sad this morning. You might have been upset this morning. You're gonna, every human is going to experience the full range of emotions. There's no, there's no version of reality where you're going to just be happy ever, right? People say, I just want to be happy, right? It, it won't happen. Like, where you, where you'll just be... <laughs> like people say it like 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 there's an, a version of reality where you'll have unbroken happiness right nobody has, nobody has that i seen millionaires right. cry yep. i seen homeless people fucking sing and dance on the way here <laughs> you know what i'm saying like yeah. it, it, they they change throughout the day right so you and that's that's why it's important because they will change sometimes you're going to be happy sometimes you're going to be sad sometimes you're going to be confident sometimes you're going to be insecure you're right you're going to feel the full range of emotions no matter what right that's why it's important to do what you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do it, whether you feel like it or not, 
because your emotions are going to change. Your fucking worth that ethic shouldn't. Am I right? Yeah. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? Unless you love poverty, if you like being a poor motherfucker, then yeah, just do it some. Do it when you feel like it. But if you a real nigga, <laughs> you are going no matter what. Am I right? Facts. Am I right? Facts. Right, cool. Now, the next part. This is real important. The next part, sacrifice. Sacrifice. <laughs> right? I might have spelled that word wrong. Don't worry about it. Now you got it. It's good. Come it's on, good. man. I'm crushing this shit. Today. <laughs> I'm killing this shit. <laughs> God damn it. Like the video, I'm niggas. Fucking, For real, I'm man. too fucking good at this. Go right. follow Brandon too as well, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. you good, bro. Go okay, ahead. All right, cool. Listen. Sacrifice. Now, you know, people talk a big game about the what they want, what they're willing to do and everything, right? And and maybe doing what you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do, maybe that's not a big problem for people, but sacrifice, right? All right. Imagine you got you got a you got a goal you want to accomplish. Right. Any anything. I'm I'm sure to, to start this podcast and to build it to the huge success it is, did it take a lot of sacrifice, guys? Hundred percent. What kind of things did y'all have to give up? So, girls. 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 Um going out, having fun. Mm. Um, friends, family, even like, friends, family, yeah, yeah, traveling to see family, mm. like, dude, literally, our life is. I want to revolves around the pod, bro. Yeah. The podcast, real talk, like, sacrifice. I woke up an hour before this joint. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because I was working all night. So it's like, yeah, like the, the our life right now, 100 percent revolves around the show. It doesn't yeah. matter how we feel. We have to get up here. You and gotta get do content. it. Sometimes you don't feel like it, right? But you yeah. do it anyway, right? Yeah. Yep. But that's this is the easy part. This is the hard part, mm. right? So think about it, man. Like, I want you guys. You guys are watching this. Think about something you tried to accomplish and you didn't get it. I want you to think what weren't you willing to sacrifice to get that? Ooh. Right? Like my like my man earlier said he tried he, he's been trying to lose weight, but he couldn't. There was something he wasn't willing to sacrifice. Right. Bam. You get what I'm saying? Or he or 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 it was like because that's a or it was like uh he wasn't willing to do what he's supposed to do. This is the basics. This is where it starts to get real. Yeah. Mm. Right? You know what I'm saying? Doing what you're supposed to do, doing yeah, mo mm, a lot of people can do that. Not everybody, but a lot of people can do that. But man, not a lot of people are willing to give shit up, right? Facts. You know, it takes a lot of, it takes a different kind of person to give up good for great. You know, to give up something good for something great. Bam, saying, and that's that's, you know, but that's what the winners do. That's what y'all did. Yep. Right. You know. You know. I, I read it. Um, you know, the night the night Kobe Bryant was drafted. You know, most people went out and party. This motherfucker went to the gym, right? <laughs> Instead of partying, right? He gave he gave that up, man. It's like it's got to be everything. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's really, you know, what are you willing to sacrifice? You gotta you gotta write it down. You gotta write down what what do you think you have to sacrifice to accomplish your goal? And if you're not willing to sacrifice it, that's okay. That's okay. Just don't complain. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yep. There was a point in my life where I thought it would be a good idea if I was a doctor. I thought, man, Dr. Carter. You know what I'm saying? I get all the hoes and shit. It'd be dope. You know what I'm saying? It'd be easy. It'd be White easy, lab man. Coat. Yeah, go walk up in the lab coat. They know what's up. Oh, Dr. Carter, what seems to be the problem, baby? You know what I'm saying? And um, But then I found out how how long they got to go to school. And I was like, yeah, fuck that. Niggas <laughs> <laughs> said, hell no. I was like, fuck that. I wasn't willing to make the sacrifice. Yeah. But I don't complain about not being a doctor. It's true. I don't talk shit about doctors, mm -hmm. right? I ain't out here bitching and moaning and I ain't doctor. I just said, fuck it. I wasn't willing to do that. And it's okay, right? But it wouldn't be okay if I was complaining. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you got you to make this. If you're not willing to sacrifice, because if you're not willing to sacrifice for your goals, your goals become the sacrifice. Mm. One more time for the people. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Stop the show. Rewind that. I need people to really, really take. Let that sink in, guys. One more time, please. If you're not willing to sacrifice for your goals, then your goals become the sacrifice, right? There's going to be have so much stuff you're going to have to give up. If you have a big goal that you want to accomplish, a big goal that's going to make you, that's forcing you to stretch and become better, you're going to have to give something up for that. Yep. Right? You're going to have to give something. That, if you have a, a, a fitness goal, you're going to have to give up some sort of foods, at least momentarily. Yep. Right? You're Absolutely. going to have to give up time. Yep. Right? You might have to admit whether it's time with family. Maybe it's time with your loved ones. Maybe it's time. I, I don't know what it is going to be. You're giving up alcohol. You. That's a fact. Yeah. You got to. You want to get serious about yeah, your fitness. Giving up alcohol. Some of you guys got to give up social life. drugs, social life, whatever it is. Right. You don't have to do it. Just know that it's going to cost you your goals. Right. It's going to call you. So you, here's the thing. It's still a sacrifice. You're going to be sacrificing either way. Right. Is either you sacrifice this thing. Or you sacrifice the goal. 
right? So it's, it's, it's either or, right? You're going to make a sacrifice either way. So it's not as hard as you think it is. You get what I'm saying? You got you got something to say? Like, it's funny because like I always had a, a FMO for missing out. Mm. And like I always go with friends at the party, right? Uh, before when I was working a regular job. And it was like I was celebrating, but nothing because I was still the same place, same job, same income. I wasn't uh, ever growing. Then, uh, you know, I started to say, you know what? If I focus my energy and time instead of going out to like learning or being around people that have influence or have like uh, wealth, I can learn from them how to get better. And then you start the podcast. We we went out a couple times in the beginning. Yeah. And we stopped cold turkey. Yeah. And now when I go out, it's a, diff- a different it's a purpose. purpose. Yeah. Because I go networking. Meet people. Yeah. So it's like I you don't gave drink it up. a sip of alcohol. Yeah. I sacrifice. I gave up. Yeah. We're not having fun. But now when I go, it's with a purpose because I'm focused on my goals. Like you said, it's two it's things different. on that. There's two yeah. things. One, one. Sacrifices. I want y'all to look at it like a good thing. And, and let me explain. Yeah. For example, you know, I got I got some money now, right? And I pretty much fly first class all the time. Right, but every once in a while, no. When I, I'm sorry, before when I first started flying first class, I remember <laughs> it was like a big deal. You know, I was all excited. I was happy. But I was like, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, and um, that 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 enthusiasm for it kind of waned over time. Like you get used to it. So it's it's, it's called hedonistic adaptation. Right. Mm. Basically, you get used you get used to anything. Right. Your brain gets used to it, and you don't get that same pleasure from it anymore. You get what I'm saying? After, wait, if you if you after repeated exposure right and it got to the point where i wasn't even putting it on the gram right you know what I'm, saying? <laughs> I'm flying first class i'm not even putting it on the gram anymore right right it was just normal right and, and i wasn't getting the same pleasure from it then what happened was you know every once in a while i have to fly because first class is not available mm. on to for the flight i want or the time i want and i fly coach and then i get in there and it's like ooh, i remember nope this. yeah you know what i'm saying <laughs> i don't like it <laughs> and then but then next so next time i fly first class that love comes back. You, mm. you can right? appreciate it. I appreciate it, yeah. right? So think. So it's like that with anything you sacrifice. It sounds like it's awful thing, right? Until you realize, yo, just by when you give it up momentarily and then come back to it, it's better. Like it's like fasting or something. You, you know? know what's funny, bro? Okay, so I hate to say this again, but like club analogy, right? Mm-hmm. I go to club. I was in the middle dance floor, never VIP. I was bottom of the barrel. Hey man, look up to the to people in the VIP. Do you know? Do just living like the regular. Uh, club life. Yeah. Now when I go out, VIP, artist tables, like celebrity tables, just like now come up with a purpose and once again sacrifice it in the beginning. Now add some value. Even Myron, he gave up going on himself and drinking, and he's focused. And no, look at the studio. It's all built. Yeah. By, by well, Myron. that's that's a, that's a different thing. That's a, that's a, that's the next thing I wanted to say. Right. Yeah. The next thing is is greater later. You get what I'm saying? Like imagine if you if you if you think oh I got to give up girls for example yeah. to go get this money. <laughs> what do you think the quality once you get the money do you think it would be easier for, to get a higher quality girls would you if you got some money or or not different quality bro you know what i'm saying yeah. it's greater later yeah you get what i'm saying so if you can if you can delay that gratification yeah right you know and and and, and you can put yourself in a position to get a better version of this thing that you're addicted to now. If it's weed right <laughs> maybe i saw a weed on the company you guys want to smoke smoke weed and shit cool if you can give that up for a minute you know Listen, I don't want the. I know the pie heads get fucking. <laughs> you I don't give tri- a fuck. Trigger, you smoking think, weed, bro. I you would don't think care. they'd be chill, man. They'd I get thought they'd be about they that get, shit. You would think they'd be chill. How yeah. come they get? They, they don't chill out. I thought yeah. they made you they'd come. Be crying in the comments. This is medical, man. Yeah, right, well, listen. Medical, da, da, da. Hey, listen, I don't give listen, a fuck. Listen. I don't know no real high performers that smoke weed every Yo, single day, bro. Yeah. I don't. I, I Brandon, do you know any? I know, I know two. You know, you yeah, know two. I know two. Out of how many though? Out of eight. <laughs> out of like a hundred. Exactly. I know. Two. <laughs> I know two. And well, here's the thing. Let's uh, you know. Let's just, let's just say that. Let's say your. I don't. For me, weed makes me do everything worse. Right. So I know it's something I had to give up to accomplish my goals. Mm-hmm. Right. Do you think I can buy better weed now? <laughs> I got money. <laughs> right. You you know it's like if I wanted to, like I can get some better. Right. So if you sacrifice, you can actually put yourself in a position to experience a better version of this thing you're sacrificing let, later. You get what I'm saying? Facts. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, like, you know, I used to be out here with fucking sixes and sevens, man. That was a real me. I know it sounds it sounds crazy, Myron. You know me for some time, man. It sounds crazy. You've never yeah. seen it in real life, right? But yeah, it was a it was a time. And that was normal for me, man. Brandon with somewhat regular girls? What? I know it sounds preposterous. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't even the people don't even believe it. The people don't believe it. <laughs> but like, you know, it's different now, right? It, it's nice and tense. <laughs> it's just two things. So right. And one, the sacrifice is not a bad thing, right? Because 
one, the hedonistic a adaptation, right? You, you, you get used to this thing, right? So if you leave it for a minute and come back, it's better, right? Yep. And also, if you can prolong it, you can put yourself in a position to get a better version of this thing you're sacrificing yeah. later. You get what I'm saying? Fantastic. Like no. when you go out sure. now, it's better, Way than, better. When, than when you were just standing in line at the club. Facts. You no, know? no lines. Just walk straight yeah. in. Yeah, yeah, man. Oh, but you guys, you don't have to sacrifice. But you kind of do, right? Because if you don't sacrifice for your goals, the goals become the sacrifice. So it's a sacrifice either way. You just got to pick which one. You got to pick which one. You want to sacrifice your goals or you want to sacrifice the fucking pot, the weed. Yeah. The yeah, people get mad at me sevens. too when I say that shit too, bro. But I mean, yeah, it's, hey man, I, I just look at it like it's a variable that could fuck you up. And I, I'm a big fan of like mitigating risk. You yeah. know what I'm saying? When yeah. it comes to success. Like, well, it's already hard enough to get shit done. Why would you give yourself another variable that can fuck you I up? I don't do any recreational drugs. I don't drink. Same. You know what I'm saying? Same. I'm yep. trying to get this money. It slows me down. I don't know what it's going to do for them. Right? You know what I'm saying? If, 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 yeah. You know, listen, my, my brother, he, he smokes weed every day, man. He's like, it. it I, I I think it helps him, man. He's a very volatile person. <laughs> yeah. Matter of fact, day. I don't want to yeah. see him yeah. sober. I don't know if I have. <laughs> <laughs> so some people, you know, whatever. Hey, listen, not for me. Not for, I feel I'm, I'm the same. Yeah. Money. All right, last one, last one. This. All right, all right. So you do what you're supposed to do with the, whether you feel like it or not. Sacrifice for your goals and last, ooh, relentless. Right. Well, let me tell you what I mean by this. Right. So it's kind of like sacrifice, but on another level. Right. So th th there's there's times, man, you know, when, like you said, your family's going to coddle you or people going to coddle you. There's going to be times in your life where people are going to be like, oh, man, you don't have to work that hard. You can take a break. Oh, man, you've accomplished so much. One day won't hurt. Right. Fuck you, bitch. You don't know shit about success. You always don't know shit about victory. That's what I think every time, man. Like some girl will be like, oh, you don't have to work hard. You can sleep in. You can eat this. You can do that. Like, fuck you, bitch. You don't know shit about victory, ho. You ain't never accomplished no real shit in your life, bitch. Fuck that. That's what I think. But I, re I really be like, nah, I do got to do this. <laughs> um, I'll talk to you later. Right? My mind is like, y'all can't believe this dumbass bitch tried to tell, tried to tell me that I, that, I, that, I, that I don't need to work hard today. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hoes don't know shit about victory. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, right? Because it's that one time. It's yeah. that one. Every time you quit, so imagine somebody with like they had a fitness goal. Yeah. And they quit. Facts. Right? They didn't. They didn't just give up one day. What happened was they said, "Oh, I'll take today. Or I won't go today." Yeah. All right, and then and then they said, "All right, then uh, I won't go the next day." Yep. Then they, then they're only going half the times the week, right? Then they said, "Oh, I'm only going once a week." Then they quit. You get what I'm saying? It's a slippery slope, right? Baby, bro, you got, you got, so you got to be relentless about it from the onset, because the worst step is the first step is the worst step. One mistake. Yeah, the yeah. first step is the worst step because like Bernie Madoff didn't start off fucking stealing billions, right? He was taking a little here, a little there, then it became normal for him. All right, take a little bit more, do a little bit more. Next, you know he's stealing billions. <laughs> Fun fact, Bernie Madoff was already a billionaire before he started scamming. He just a greedy motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. What? He just a greedy motherfucker. He was already a multi-billionaire before he started stealing. Anyway, it's like the first, you know, it's that one, it's that one part when that smart person says, oh, it might be this person, it might be yourself. Mm. You know, I, I, you know, this girl I was dating a while ago. She was she was trying to get in, in better shape, and she would be like, "Oh man, I deserve this. I worked out. I deserve this food." And I was like, "I wouldn't argue. I was just like, this bitch, don't know shit about victory. <laughs> Stupid. This bitch, don't know shit about yeah. success, man." And next thing you know, a few weeks later, she complaining about. It. She looked, yeah, man, because you was eating that cake, dummy. You was eating that cake, hoe. What's wrong with you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yep. Right. And it yeah. becomes easier to quit once you once you begin to quit. It becomes easier to quit. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Everything you're doing is is building a habit. Every step you take is a vote in the direction of the person you want to become. You get what I'm saying? There's a part of you. Let me tell you why this is important. There's a part of your brain that, that when you do something, it forms what's called a neural pathway in your brain. Yep. Right. And this is how habits are formed. Right. So you do something once. You let let's say a, let's say a nigga's trying to learn how to juggle. Right. He's fumbling around, juggling. Right, that's, and, but he gets with practice, he gets better. What happens is you could actually a neural pathway forms in his brain where he learns how to do that thing. 
right? For example, uh, a child. He's trying to learn how to walk. What's it called? Neurological pathway? Uh, it's a neur yeah, neural pathway that down. in your brain. Right? You guys should be taking notes too. Every time you do anything, you build uh, a neural pathway. For example, me, is this mic on or not? Yeah, it's still on. Yeah. You okay. good. So, let me just start yeah, this. Yeah, 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 go ahead. Do this. Do this. Listen, put, uh, guys, put, put one thumb up and put one finger up. Oh, that would, they put your left finger up, right? Now, left now, switch, now switch the two. Oh shit! Yeah, you see it. Oh, shit. <laughs> you I, see how it's hard. To, yeah. It's kind of weird to do. It's confusing you. Yeah, <laughs> I can do it because I've done it mad times, so I can embarrass people who can't do it, right? <laughs> but damn it! But the only, uh, <laughs> the only reason I can do it because I've done it mad times. I built a neural pathway in my head. Yeah, right. Anyone can do it with practice. <laughs> Here's the thing: anytime you do anything, you're building that neural pathway. Yeah. So with practice, you'd be able, like, if you practice that 10, 20 times, you'd be able to do it easy, right? Or like a baby learning to walk. Right, this motherfucker falls a million times. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's trying to fuck one, one foot to balance and put the other one down. It's, it's not that he's not strong enough. He's just he hasn't. It's the same. He's going through the same thing you just went through with your fingers and your thumbs. Right. right. Mm -hmm. he, with enough practice, he gets to do it. Next, thing you know, he's running around doing this shit, throwing shit at the same time. He's running around. He, he gets it once he builds up the neural pathway, but he has to do it over and over again. The problem with quitting once. Not being relent relenting instead of being relentless is it becomes easier to, to relent the next time. It gives you easier to give up the next time. It gives yeah. me easier to quit, right? And now you a fucking quitter because you built the neur you you built the the fucking pattern in your brain. You trained yourself to quit. You can't do it once. It might be some oh I deserve this or I des uh oh I I've worked so hard I can take this time off I can do all this other shit. No, you fucking can't. Cause you're building a habit every time you do something, and you building a bitch nigga habit. <laughs> <laughs> you building bitch nigga neural pathways in your brain. Right. You want to be real nigga habits, bitch nigga habits, and you it's a vote. You got to take you you got to you, you, you know you take the vote every time you make a decision. Is this is this a, is this gonna get me closer to my goals or further away? And the problem is once you take the step one in either direction. It's going to become easier to take that step the next time, mm. right? So the next time you don't feel like working out, you say, oh, I can just work. I can just, um, I can just rest. If you do it once, it'll be easier to do it again. Yep. And it'll be easier. It'll be easier to do it again. And then next thing you know, that's what you do. You a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, that's real shit. That's why you can't. You got to be relentless. I got that's. I got, got a tattoo tattooed on, on my arm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? There you go. It's right there. Because sometimes I don't be feeling like doing shit, man. Sometimes I don't be feeling like doing shit. You already made it, basically. Man, I'm rich as shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. I'm rich as fuck, man. And but I'm I'm out here trying to get more. And I'm not even just get more money, but I got more things I want to accomplish. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like right now it's like accomplishment. You know, I like I like seeing my, my students win. I like seeing my employees. You know, when I like, I like at this point, money is just a byproduct of your accomplishments. Right. At that point, it's right. not even, it's yeah, fun. it's not even, it's like kind of like a game, which a lot of successful people like look at yeah. it that way. And the other thing, too, I want to say real quick about being relentless like, because people ask me, Mario, why don't you just go out or drink or whatever? Because I know that if I go out once and I party, it's going to be easy for me to slip back into that it's degenerate gonna so easy. mindset. It's going to be so, so easy. So I say, nah, not until I hit my goal, maybe I'll have one. But until yeah. then, I don't deserve to celebrate shit. Yeah, I didn't and, earn it yet. And I used to be like, "Damn, Myron, just just t just relax a little bit." But then it hit me like, "Yo, you know what? He's right. If he goes back into that state where he's letting things slide, yeah. it's a it's a it's a full full circle." Yeah, and you guys seem to have a good thing going, right? Like you go out and do the networking, yeah. and you do the the so, everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Come on, man. And you do like all the real work. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty much. <laughs> but no, for real. Like that's why. Like that's people ask Brandon, why don't you drink or smoke? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a fucking extremist, man. Mm. If, I, if I'm smoke, if I'm drinking, I'm drinking, right? If I'm out here fucking hoes, I'm fucking all the hoes, right? And like yeah. that, that's why I don't do none of that there's shit. No, right? I mean, no for between. real shit. You yeah. know, I just I'm I'm focused mm. on my goals. You know, I I can't I, I can't do a little you know, do a little bit of partying here a little bit. No, I'm gonna go all out. Yeah, I I'm think people don't out. understand that. To get extreme results, you have to take extreme measures. Extreme results come from extreme actions, all right? There's no version of reality where where anything... How can it be any different? Facts. Right? How can you get extreme results from fucking minor actions? Only a delusional world here, like in the West, where we tell people they deserve everything. No. Nah, man, you don't deserve shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to go out and get it. So that's what I'm saying. The work, You got to be relentless. When you... The, that guy who said his family... Got, 
fuck them, man. Fuck what they talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't know shit about victory. They probably fat too. <laughs> All right, you know what I'm saying? Some bitch tries to tell you that you can just relax, man. Fuck that hoe. She don't know shit about victory. Facts. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Actually, when you, you know relax and you spend time with her and you start losing, she going somewhere else. Yeah, yeah man. And yo, she gonna leave. <laughs> she gonna, that's the fucking craziest part. She tells you to relax. You start getting broke, and then she leaves you because you broke for a real nigga like me. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> boy, and then up. I leave her because she trying to tell me to rest. Fuck that hoe. Yeah. I done fucking dumped your dream girl who broke your heart. Because <laughs> I'm a real nigga. There you go. What kind of percent facts, though, bro? That's true. That's why I tell you all the time, don't listen to women, bro. They're going to make you Dope. weak. Bro, Yo. Man. I, I just look. I just told you, bro. Chicks out of the house. Oh, come, come, cuddle with me and stay. Oh, bitch, I got work to do. Nope. Like, nah. Bitch, bitch you know. must be tripping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I done dump bitches. You niggas would fucking kill the fuck, mm. right? <laughs> because I'm relentless, man. Fuck what you heard. I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yo, you can't let nobody get in step. Because, because here's the thing. If you let her, you know what? One of my mentors said mm -hmm. a long time. He said a man will be as successful as his wife will let him. <laughs> yeah, because they, because you know, I mean, they can be, they can be. If you get the right girl, she can be an advantage for yep. sure. You know what yeah. I'm saying? If you get the right girl, she can be an advantage, right? But if she's not an advantage, man, fuck her, man. Let's go. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like if, if she with you, she with you or against you, right? Everybody on your team. We are gonna talk about the two when we get the energy. But everybody on your team, everybody in your circle, needs to be supportive. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And and it and if they trying to like deter you from accomplishing your goals, man, fuck that, fuck that, no, fuck that dude. Fuck them, man. Fuck that. Fuck them, man. Right? You know what I'm saying? Because they, you got to be going forward. Right? And anybody who's trying to slow you down, even if they mean well, fuck what they talking about. They don't know shit about victory, man. Fuck them bitches. I'll say this. When I was an agent, right, and we had a big case, anytime you want to get stuff done, whether it was funding, you wanted to prosecute them through a certain law, whatever it is, I always surrounded myself with a, with, with a prosecutor and his team that always said, all right, I don't know if that's possible. We're going to find a way to say yes. Yeah. Versus the people that said, no, nah, I don't want to take this case. I would never work with them. Or I would never put anyone on my team that would say, oh, I don't know if we could do that or not. Nah, I don't think it's feasible. I'd be like, no, fuck that. You're not. You're off the case. I put only people on that said, let's find a way to make it yes. Yeah. Well, and it's, that's real important. That's a real, and that's like if you're picking, if, you know, the women you're around or the, the, if you get, you're picking a girl, she's got to be supportive. Like she's got to be like, like she's got to be actively helping you accomplish your goals, supportive, yeah. right? If she's trying to deter you or stop you in any way, man, uh, cancel that bitch immediately. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got to read these this shit on the screen on you good. All right, cool. All right, let's go mm -hmm. to the next part, man. Yeah, let's go to energy. <laughs> energy. And I'll read the chats after, guys. There's too much heat. So like the goddamn video. Are they, There's 3,500 y'all in here. 3,300 you. Are they baby. fucking with this shit so far? No, the, bro. The chat's freaking loving this, bro. Got like it. People say they need to rewatch it. Like, this is you do. Gems. You Put need this. to study the shit. Yeah. Facts. You need to fucking... <laughs> write it word for shit. word until you can recite it. Shit, I'm this is the watch real it. shit. I'm gonna rewatch this shit too. And you can also download the. We got a book in y'all. If those y'all want to start an online fitness business, yeah. Link in the description. I put a free book in there for y'all called the Ten Commandments Online Training. We'll give you the detailed plan that you need, right, to actually accomplish that goal. Question: right? If it's someone free. had an online business, not fitness, could they still get the book and learn from it? Yeah, they can learn from it for sure, okay. for sure. Cool. You know what I'm saying? They they can definitely learn from it. But because you know, the I'm fundamentals a, are there, the fundamentals are there. Uh, but I'm gonna be honest, I I put it together for an online fitness business because okay. that's that's um that's where I have the most domain expertise. Gotcha. You know what I'm and guys, by the way, there's 3.1k. You guys watch it on YouTube alone. We only got 2k likes. Dude, guys, like the video, like the video, like the video, man. Like the man. Video, man. Listen, unless you a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. You. Like the video. All right. Now here's the Energy. thing. This is important. People don't talk about this. Like, a, like we'll read the chats after this, guys. I don't hear this a, enough, but energy is like wildly important, man. If you're going after your goals, if you're trying to accomplish it, you need that. You need to be energetic. Charisma, that stamina. Yeah, stamina, charisma. You, it, it, yeah, it's, so somebody who's sleeping and shit. Yeah. Like they're not char uh, charismatic, right? Facts. Right. So the first part of, of energy is obviously health. Right. If you got motherfucking cancer or some shit, like it's gonna be difficult for you to go after your goals while you're getting chemo, right? If you got <laughs> AIDS or some <laughs> shit, <laughs> I don't know, man. Whatever people get sick from, I ain't been sick in years. Fuck that shit. Getting sick is retarded. I don't need. It. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, the reason I'm saying, I. All right, I'm gonna be. I'm being too harsh. My fault. No, it's okay, I, bro. You bro I, I, I think Say about that. Fuck. Yo, I can't. I, I feel like I can't get sick because I need to get this money. <laughs> You're for real. It's really important for me. Like it's 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 actually, 
I look at it like it's gonna hurt my fucking income if I get sick. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I, I go out of my way to stay healthy, right? With this work, working out, diet. Don't do. I don't drink. No drugs. No no recreational drugs. Right? You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. I, I, somebody's gonna say, oh, he's on steroids. No, I, I, I've been taking TRT for a year. I've been on it for a year. Prescribed from a doctor. Yeah, yeah prescribed. They they made me take my blood. He every, old guys. In case you forgot. I'm almost this nigga old. I'm almost forty. I know y'all looking at me like, damn, this nigga's <laughs> so, this nigga's so fucking smooth and youthful. Right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he can't. He can't be forty. Now nah, I'll be forty this year. Um, but yeah, but the health is really important, just because you need. Not only do you have to not get sick, but that's just like the bare minimum. Yeah. Right. You want to be extra healthy, extra energetic, vibrant. Right. Because you you got to really to really attack your goals if they're aggressive. It's gonna take a lot of work. Right. How much? How, how many hours do y'all think y'all work a week if you had to? Bro. Yes. Oh man. Nonstop. Twenty four hours probably. Yeah. You can't even track it. It's, it's, it's more than a hundred. We sleep. Yeah, easily. We easily sleep. more than 100 we, hours a week. We barely sleep. Like, Imagine in the studio, the, researching. Yeah. I'm other networking. is like, we never stop. Chris, yeah. Chris is here too as well. You know? I mean, bro, yeah. like, imagine if you weren't healthy. Could you do it? It's a good if point. If you were sick, good you point. know what I'm saying? Or if you were just tired all the time or some shit? It takes a lot of uh, stamina to do that. And yeah. that's a, another important why it's, that's another reason why it's important for you young guys to, to, to accomplish your goals now. Because as you get older, yep. you're not going to have as much energy. I'm it's just true. be honest with you. Facts. I know you might look. I'm an outlier. I still kick most of y'all ass, <laughs> right? <laughs> at, at age forty, I fuck you niggas up, man. <laughs> Real tough, <time>, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a scary laugh. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You're a good judge of character, and <laughs> but like you know, as you get older, man, it's it's not it's not the same. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It, even for me, it's not the same. I had to, that's why I had to. I got on TRT because I feel like my energy was going. It wasn't even for like I was already in better shape than almost all of you, right? <laughs> all of you watching, right? <laughs> but then I I got on TRT because I just I was I was getting, I just didn't have the same energy, man. Yeah. And that's so you know really take care of your health. I don't want to get too deep onto that. You know what I'm saying? I know you be talking about health on this channel and this. Tons of people talk about it. It's really important. Take it seriously. I make sure. I'm just showing you how serious I take it. Right. I got this ring to track. It's called the Aura Ring. You don't have to get it. You can get whatever. But it, it tracks. I track how much I sleep, the quality of my sleep, the deep sleep, the REM sleep. I track it every day. You know what I'm saying? My HRV. You know what I'm saying? I get I get a blood work every every three months from my doctor. You know I make sure I sleep uh, minimum seven hours a night. Um, yeah, man, I, I go hard with the health because I, I need to, right, to to, be, to perform my best. Mm. And I, I look at it as, like, really, it, it's it's a part of making money. Facts. You know what I'm saying? For real. All right. Then can't next, build a house on a shitty foundation. Yeah, man. Yeah, and then what's worse if you accomplish all this shit and then die, <laughs> then what? <laughs> what was the point? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, what was the point? <laughs> right? I want to enjoy it. I want to enjoy this shit, right? You know what I'm saying? So health, then you need mental mental health. Ah, And how do I put this so you guys understand it? Sad, depressed motherfuckers don't make money. <laughs> I can't really, That's I can't true. really put it. It's not, yeah. it's not charismatic. Yeah. It's not attractive. You're like, if you're in sales, you 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 worked in sales before, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, it could, did, did, were the fucking sad niggas making all the money or no? Guys with charisma, they guys with char- confident. Charismatic. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So you gotta, you gotta be able to. What I say is really just. When I say mental health, I don't mean it like the lame way. Maybe I should have wrote mental strength, right? Yeah, maybe that's a better word, mental strength. Okay. Because, you know, bad shit's going to happen, right? But what's really important, remember I said emotions weren't real? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? It's all in your head, right? It's just really, it's, it's literally just, you know, neurochemicals going off and, you know, di- different neurochemicals being fired off by your brain. It's literally all in your head. <sighs> You can't let your circumstances dictate your emotions. I might get a little woo-woo. Right, right. No, no, go for it. This, but is, this is really been, important. I've been in jail <laughs> more than once. I've never been convicted of a crime, but I've been arrested mad times. All right. There you go. Good <laughs> and, uh, team. and um, I remember being in jail fucking laughing and joking and crying. and uh, Not crying. Laughing and joking and, and shit. You know, it was a bad situation, Right. But I was still I was still experiencing positive emotions, right? Because I told myself I was like I'm gonna make the most most out of this. You know what I'm saying? 
So I would do little shit like every time somebody asked me, yeah, what you in here for? I was like, Psst, man, murder. <laughs> 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 it was just, it, I was doing it to make my boy, uh, white boy Brian, he got arrested with me. I was making him laugh every time. And, you know, it, it's like your circumstances don't, I've been in real shitty situations, but I still was able to find joy in them. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, and that's really important. That's really important. Um, or you can, you gotta either do that or fuck how you feel and just, how do I put it? You got to be able to be stoic. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? For sure. Like be stoic, right? Like some, like I don't get too excited, you know, when I make, you know, a bunch of money or two. And I definitely don't get sad if we lose something because I, I just know it's part of it. I'm just playing the game. Yeah. We're just going. It's like on some Tom Brady shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ever see his face when he's down? He's not. I mean, some I've seen him throw shit, but most sometimes he's like, yeah. You know, you got to be just he's focused. Very no stoic. Yeah, yeah, you got to be stoic. I think you knowing know? that it's marching him down the field. Yeah. yeah, it's all it's all about just execution. It's not about getting excited when it when it happens. Like, when, if I'm do something big, like make a lot of money, or we're not jumping up and down. It's like, yeah, that's what's supposed to. Happen. That's what I mean. We're happy, but it's like, yeah, that's what's supposed to happen. I think it's you very know? important to know that something are temporary. And that moment of like, like you said, making money or like having a down period of time yeah. is temporary. So once you know that, okay, cool, I'm gonna get through this and move forward from there. This too shall pass. Yeah. Right. But the good stuff too, right? So you can't don't get too excited yeah, when sure. some good happens, Facts. right? Because like that that emotion is dangerous too. Because when you get too excited, you get too happy, you get you you know success leads to confidence, and confidence leads to overconfidence, mm -hmm. and overconfidence leads to fucking failure. Bam. You get what I'm saying? Pride pride become, comes before the fall. Right, so you can't get too fucking caught up in the success, and you definitely can't get too caught up in the uh, sto into in the in the failure. You got to be focused. Like whatever happens, you want to stay stoic. You know what I'm saying? And know that this too shall pass. The good and the bad. The bad, the good will pass too. It's not gonna be good forever. Just because you had a you you made some money you or someone right doesn't mean that your life is gonna be uh uh, uh an unbroken boulevard of green lights forevermore. Right? You know you're gonna have you're gonna have problems. People are going to die. Here's the thing. Everyone you know is going to die. <laughs> At some point. Yeah. Everyone you know is going to die. Bad shit's going to happen. People are going to get sick. There's going to be fucking wars. You know, you know, bad, terrorist attacks. All types of bad shit's going to happen. Are you going to let that shit control your emotions the whole time or are you going to be stoic? You know what I'm saying? You know, and you're not going to win all the time. Jordan didn't win every season, but he won enough, right? You know, he didn't get too old. They didn't get overconfident when they won either. They came back and they went harder. Right, they didn't get they didn't get all fucking cocky, right? It's like this too shall pass, the bad and the good. You know what I'm saying? So you got to just be stoic. When good stuff happens, be like, all right, you know what I'm saying? All right, and just keep moving. Back to work. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I think that's I should have wrote mental strength, right? But that that's what you want. You get what I'm saying? Being stoic. Yeah, that's that's real important. Mental guys, tenacity you know, is very important. Yeah. yeah, and then here's the here's the last part of it. But but the reason that's gonna give you more energy. Right, because if you get all fuck, if you, let's say you, some good happens, right? He's like, oh shit, let's go fucking party, and then you get all drunk and wasted, and you start celebrating, right? You lose, well, you're gonna momentum. Lose, you're gonna lose momentum. Yeah, you're also building a bad habit, and you know, I, I've seen people fall off like that, right? Fact. You know, I've seen people fall. They get they get caught up in the hype, they get caught up in their own shit, and then they fall off. It happens all the time. Anyone that says it's my birthday month, don't hang out with them. Word. Bro, partying the whole month. <laughs> Anybody that says it's my birthday month, typically it's bimbos. But there's some idiots that say that shit too. Yo, I don't celebrate. Don't my hang birthday. out with them. Like, like I you, don't you, either. You, you can. I'm not saying you're a bad person. I just feel like it's such a low level <laughs> accomplishment. Like anybody can fucking live a year, right? Like, like homeless people cannot die one year, right? You're gonna celebrate that? It's like it's such a. It's like it's I don't think it's a high enough accomplishment. New Year's too to warrant. Yeah, talked about that on yeah. Instagram, See, bro. I don't think it's a high enough accomplishment to warrant the celebration. I feel me. like every day is my birthday, bro. Hey, so man, like, celebrate every day. Yeah, every day. No, I feel. I, I get what you're saying. Like I wear my jewelry every day. Every bro, day you see me, I got 150 dollars worth of jewelry on, right? Sheesh. Like you celebrate every day, right? But the thing is, mm. the thing is, like it's. It, <sighs> Some people, yeah, some people don't live every year. Some people don't live to see their next birthday, for sure, right? But most people do, man. You really want to celebrate some shit that almost everyone can do? Facts. Right? Are you comparing sure. yourself to everyone? Mm -hmm. Right? If so, then maybe your goals aren't big enough, and we need to go back to what we said before, right? It's such a low-level accomplishment. You get what I'm saying? We I, I, we got to raise the standard of what's worth celebrating. Agreed. You get what I'm saying? Agreed. Just be stoic. And the next part is environment. Ooh. 
Guys, like the goddamn video. I'm looking right now. There's only 2.4K likes, 3.2K you guys watching right now. Right. Get us a 3K. Get that engagement up, guys, because this will push in the algorithm so Yo, more guys like button, can get this what goddamn information. Yo, share this to all your friends that are broke and bums. I didn't give y'all a master class on achievement. You yeah. motherfuckers ain't hitting the like button. And go follow Brandon, man, on Instagram, you YouTube. Should, yeah. That's good fire. advice. That's real good advice. Yeah, because this is a small dose of what he has in store for you guys. Absolutely. Small and, dose. and I tagged his YouTube channel in the, in the title, guys. Yeah. Subscribe to I'm his YouTube and follow him on day. Instagram. I'm going to start posting again, I promise. Myron's going to help me. <laughs> now, now, now that I'm, Myron's going to, Myron said he's going to, well, he didn't agree to it, but. <laughs> Hey, Myron, would you, would you help me get my Instagram, my, my YouTube back, man? I got you, bro. You got, you got me? This. Oh, man. So the students. Students become the teacher. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you got to help each other out, man. Yeah. All right. So the last one is environment, right? It's very difficult to accomplish anything big if you're in a fucking toxic-ass, shitty environment, Fact. right? And that's either people around you or just your fucking surroundings, right? Like, you know, I'm from the south side of Chicago, right? The real south side. Like, you know, cheap cheap. <laughs> right? You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's Chirac. Like, Don't and, like. And the worst part of being there is it, it feels hopeless, you get what I'm saying? Like, I, I know when I go back there, I know them kids don't think that they're going to be fucking hedge fund managers or, you know, or even alive, right? It's it, it, it's that hopeless feeling. It's contagious. Yep. You ever mm -hmm. seen somebody be pissed and they walk in the room and they change the energy of the whole room? Of course. Yeah. That shit is contagious, man. Or you see somebody real happy and they come in the room and they light the whole motherfucker up like me. Right, <laughs> but you know what I mean. No, no, yeah. no. you see people are like a baby. You, know, you see a yeah. baby, and then people get, start smiling, shit, or sure. a fucking dog. Yep. Right. That shit is contagious. Right. So you got somebody around you, man, who's like bringing you down or bringing down. You gotta, you gotta, you know, get yourself away from them. Right. You for real. You really do. And for example, when I was on the South Side of Chicago, I got sent away to military school. I got, I got in a little bit of trouble. You know. Small shit like you know, getting stealing shit, you know, skipping school, shootouts, you know, little shit. <laughs> and um, shootouts. <laughs> and I got sent to military school. Uh, it was in Wisconsin, and I was there on some like affirmative action shit, you know, mm -hmm. like I was like the only black kid there. They gave me like some sort of scholarship, but it was like expensive to go there. Mm -hmm. And I was like the only black kid there. I was definitely one of the only ones who was poor. And um, <laughs> and just being around them rich kids, they it there was something different. I, I thought something different than one and I had a roommate. I went to his, his crib for the weekend once and it was a fucking mansion. You know what I'm saying? He had a mansion. He had fucking horses. It was it was constant. I was like, these motherfuckers got horses. They got horses? These motherfuckers got horses? God damn horses. This is crazy. Horses? And um it just changed it changed my outlook. Right? It's like, oh shit, this is possible, right? So sometimes you gotta be around other people that show you things are possible. For example, I was making like six figures, multiple six figures, um, doing all right, doing well. I thought I was doing good. And then I met uh, one of my mentors, Owen. Owen Cook. He was on the podcast, yeah. right? Yeah, Shout yeah. RSD Tyler for you guys that yeah. might not know. And he became it, he we became friends. He was like became one of my mentors, right? And I didn't learn a lot of business shit from him, but what, what helped me the most was just at the time they I don't say numbers, but it was like eight figures they was making. You know what I'm saying? And um. And once I was in L.A., I was like, yo, I'm, yo, son, I'm in L.A., what's up? Where you at? And uh, what, you, what you up to? And he's like, oh, I ain't there, man, but you can stay at my mansion. He said, I was like, what? <laughs> he's like, yeah, just go to my mansion. <laughs> you know, yeah. I'll, I'll tell him you coming. And then the fucking people let me in, and I just stayed there. And just being in that environment, it's like it just changed my, oh, shit, this is possible. Yep. This is possible, and it made me want more. Right, so you got to find a way to get yourself in a different environment. So when I, I remember that it was like two years ago. Yeah, no, it was a year, way long ago. I've been making money for a long time. No, nah. it was like, oh no, I, I went there for 2019. That was I remember when he you let went me there. stay there a few times. Okay, I'm talking okay. about the first time. It was like long, long. Oh, time okay, ago. okay, yeah. okay. But now everyone, yeah, he did. He let me just stay there again, just because. Yeah, he yeah they're good friends. The yeah, That's even like, sitting in like your dream car or sitting in like you know, a place where like you never could imagine, like it's like damn. This is probably I could touch it, I could feel it. Yeah, yeah. It, it needs to be. It needs to be real. Yeah, it needs to feel real. Sometimes you just got to be around it. Yeah. So, even very true. You know, even you know when I first moved to New York, I moved into a neighborhood that I couldn't. I mean, I could barely afford. It was in Queens. It was called Forest Hills, <laughs> and that's where the uh, fucking uh, Donald Trump grew up or some yeah, shit. Yeah, right? nice know? area. And and but here behind behind the tracks is a park called Forest Hills Gardens, and it's like mansions. And I used to like ride my bikes through there or, or do cardio over there and um because i needed to you know get inspired by that shit yeah i'm telling you it works it does something in your brain that makes you want more but if all the people are fucking losers around you it's gonna be easier to just i had that, that transition when i went to college mm. i went to i grew up in a in a in new britain connecticut right lower socioeconomic town in, in connecticut central connecticut people think there's money in connecticut it's only southern connecticut guys and i was around a lot of people you know it, it was it was very a very poor town right then i went to college northeast university 
all my you know friends were like you know rich kids from affluent areas and it made me realize the fuck am i doing buying stupid jordans and yeah. all these liabilities yeah mm. then i realized i'm gonna start downsizing and wearing cheaper clothes and saving money and like actually like aspiring to, to do better financially and that's what was a wake-up call for me because you were around losers yep here's the thing man if you're around losers, it's going to be easier. That it's, It creates a comfort zone where it's okay to be a loser. Yeah, facts. You get what I'm saying? It's okay to lose. And if it's all, we're get, like we said in the beginning, it's got to be a must. We're going to raise your standards. So if the standard is low in your fucking peer group, you're going to sink to your standards. But if you are around a different peer group where like the standard is higher, right? You're going to want, you're going to, you, then you're going to raise your standards as well, right? For example, like my, my mentorship program, when we, and everyone gets, when they get in, it's like, so, I, you know, it's lifetime membership when someone joins, right? Yep. So you get in and you see people making ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars a month, thirty thousand dollars a month just from online training, right? Did, did you see that? Did you go in there and be like, "Oh shit, I need to step my game yeah, up"? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, exactly. And, that, and that's that's one of the reasons why being in an environment is important. Mm -hmm. you, you guys getting this? It's real important. It's vital. Like, did you raise your standards? Because if you don't believe do that you could actually make it happen, you're not gonna even put an effort. But it, you see people doing it. You know what? Okay, you know what? If you could do it. Shit, the guy stutter. It feels do more it too. attainable, yeah. right? It feels more attainable, yeah. right? So, like when you joined my group, did it, it did it feel more attainable when you saw yeah. other people? Yeah, doing it, it became it became it became real, and you're like, and then also like the type of person I am, I'd be like, what the fuck? I, I, this dude did made this that. Dude I did it. Do yeah. this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you're either gonna appreciate, you're gonna hate, but regardless, is it should motivate you to like get there. And then once you get once you catch up to them, then you'll be like, okay, thank yeah, you, you yeah, motivated yeah. me. Yeah. If y'all want to know more about the the program that we're talking about, you can click the link in the description. I don't want to like oversell it or anything, but it's it's a free ebook that it teaches y'all uh, about. It. But the most important part is to get into the different environment. And what's going to happen is, you, what if you're a lot of people are thinking right now, what if I'm around a bunch of losers, bitch ass niggas, <laughs> dorks, <laughs> you know, whatever. And you know, well, here's the thing, you know, you never see a flock of eagles. You know what I'm saying? You might see a few eagles together every once in a while, but it's never a whole flock. Of, you'll see a flock of pigeons, though. <laughs> right? You'll see a flock of dirty-ass pigeons running around. Shit you on your ass. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, you know, this, the, you know, eagles either fly alone or, like, eagle, I mean, eagles fly alone a lot. Yeah. They have to. I don't you know think I can think of a time where I saw two eagles. A flock. Rare. <laughs> yeah, or a, a flock, flock never. Right? So you might have you might have to just get away from those people, right? But what happens is your, your circle will grow. Like your your circle to grow, people they either grow with you, or you have to lose them, right? So it's, it's a gap, when, especially when you start succeeding. There's going to be a gap, right? Like you're going to start raising your your level, right? And they stay here, and then y'all won't have a lot in common, right? So they're either going to have to raise up and match you, or you're going to have to go if you if you want to stay with them, you're going to have to go down there. You you can't do it. one of the two is going to happen, or you're going to like you know. So they each either come with you, or you got to leave. Yeah, like my friends now, bro, are all better than me in some aspect. Either wealthier, more connections. So I grow when I hang with them. Versus back in the day, like I have friends I party with, that's all we do is party. So I don't yeah. have any of them no more. There's, there's no benefit. Yeah, I mean, it's like, yeah. you know, I still got some friends who was losers from back then. But we just we, we don't kick it like that, you know. Right. Um, if I see them, I say what's up, you yeah. know. Um, because they just they just not trying to go where I'm trying Progress. to go. And then we don't have a lot in common anymore, right? right. Yeah, of course. You know, like. I still love him. Yeah, I love him. They're gonna talk, but they're gonna talk about going to some job or some shit, <laughs> and I'm gonna be like, "Oh yeah, I'm flying here." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it, it just it, our worlds. We don't have a lot in common yeah. anymore, man. But the key, but the key is just to be around people who are 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 helping you move forward. But you got to help them move forward too, though. Right? You got you got to you got to be adding value, right? You got to be adding value to because well, especially when you get in that upper level, it's like. You know, oh, they every, won't fuck with you unless you add value. Yeah, man. Everybody, you know. Successful people are very protective yo, of who they keep around them. You won't ever get in the door. You're like, Nigga, who are you? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, it's like that. So you you want to be looking for ways to add value to yeah. even just your friends, even if y'all like equal or, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like you you, you don't want to just be a fucking taker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Facts. But you got to get the right environment. If you're in a bad environment, you got to exonerate yourself and extradite yourself from, from that. You know what I'm saying? Bam. And this is the champion trifecta, right? C goals, discipline, and energy. You can accomplish anything you want. You know what I'm saying? I like it, man. I this like it. That's dope. a Don DeMarco right yeah. there. This is the DeMarco, first another one. Whiteboard breakdown in FNF history. I and he killed it. Yeah, man. That was fantastic. Wow. Um, I'll read these chats real quick. Yeah. That's a lot of heat for y'all, man. Um, okay. So uh, we got uh, said okay, but Jordan Peterson said, treat yourself like someone you're responsible of taking care of. Good point. Well said. Uh, Shondarian Nelson, 
I've been waiting for this show all week. Watched the last one repeatedly. Took notes. Followed BC on Instagram. Just got his ten com- uh, commandments email. And absolutely loving this wisdom tonight. Let's go. Got Good you. Job, awesome job. Charlie Good Pinello, job five bucks. Super sticker. Thank you. Craig Reeves, twenty five bucks. Oh my god, this episode has been amazing. I'm needing this right now, and it couldn't come at a better time. We got y'all, bro. Yep. Uh, New Year motivation. Nice. Wall Mount Bros. My brother Marine uh, Manny Rodriguez drinks protein shakes and creatine, but doesn't work out and thinks he will get buff. Can you give him some advice? Uh, you got to lift weights, man. You need to stimuli. Yeah, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to the hell, <laughs> uh, David K. 20 bucks. Historical truth. A sale is made on every interaction, whether either you sell others or they sell no to you. Uh, love how sacrifice versus goals relates. Absolutely. Right. 10 bucks to Don. Y'all spin facts. Hit that Don. Hit that young DeMarco. I got you, bro. Um, You're- and then uh, what else here? Uh, and then Jerry Asanasin. Thank you for the gems of wisdom. Thank you. 20 bucks from uh, Nandi Singh all the way from Australia. Hey, Brandon, too much oxygen needs leads to oxygen poisoning. If you drink too much water, you drown. As someone who studied pandemic prevention for six years, high rank and rich people ignored me. Uh, yeah, listen, man, I didn't say get too much, bro. I said get enough so you don't have to think about it. Yeah, there you go. You know what I'm saying? Get enough so you don't have to think about it. That's what it is. I didn't say get oxygen poisoning. How, how, how often does that happen, oxygen poison? It was, yeah, like, I don't know. When people commit suicide, do they try to get too much oxygen? Is that like a common thing? <laughs> no, nigga. No. It almost never happens, man. Yeah, that's she's a chick that trying, said that. She's yeah. trying to be crazy. Yeah, man. typical female. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't ready Asagi. for victory. Uh, Ten bucks, hero the Asagi. hero. Asagi. Uh, fresh, don't worry, bro. I'm still here. <laughs> Let's go get some bitches together. Myron, you know where to find me. Meet me outside. I got teeth and you got ankles worth putting bite marks into. Fuck you, hero. Shout out to when hero, I see man. you, I'm going to kick you, nigga. That's his dog. He has a, he has a YouTube account. Yeah, he's, a, he's in here talking shit. Uh, Shout out to my nigga, hero. Uh, Sean P., this stream is so inspirational. Great way to start the new year. Brandon dropped some gems tonight. Definitely Fire emoji. Did. Thank you. Raul. Uh, Myron, Fresh, and Brandon, I'm starting my last semester of mechanical engineering next week. Can you guys give me some words of encouragement? You guys are dropping gems today. Stop being a bitch. Mm. There you go. If you need encouragement, bro, man, at least at some point you should have your goals so that those goals drive you to your passion. And think about this. If you want to become a mechanical, mechanical engineer, then you should be relentless in that pr- uh, pursuit. So yeah, there you go. Um, okay. Um, and then we got... Uh, Let's see M&M. here. Where Raul? Okay, Eminem. Uh, I run a Facebook page that's 92% women, ages 30 to 55, with over 100,000 followers since starting in November 6. How would you guys recommend capitalizing? Print on demand, drop shipping. No, sell them dog food. No. Uh, that's what. That's how you'll make them. Money. S- sell them lies. <laughs> Just sell them lies, bro. <laughs> Uh, you. And then, no, real talk, guys. The Chewy stock is raising up, and they predict that uh, uh, women are uh, more. There's going to be over 50% of women are going to be single in the next 10 years. So, real talk, invest in dog food. Actually, one of our, King Chris. One of our supporters gave us uh, our own fresh and fit. Uh, cat food. So if you guys want to go support this as well, we got fresh and fit cat food here. Fresh and fit cat food. Oh here shit, go. man! King Chris, ten dollars. <laughs> Met Brandon at the five hundred k party. Good man. Yeah, absolutely, bro. Uh, Brand- Brandon is definitely a life changing guy. Yep. So, uh, Brandon, where can the people find you? And uh... and then Mark, we had uh, two questions. I put it on Telegram. Oh, okay. Shit. So the check it out. All right, let me let me pull these questions up real quick. Yo, they, I, I think they got answered. They with can't the, find uh, me, they oh. can't find me on Instagram, King Keto. And then we yeah. have uh, K I Twitch by the way. You're... Hold on. Uh, from Twitch, we got okay, uh, X Maddie J yep. give five community subs. Once again, uh, Maddie J gave one community sub, and then one month at tier one. Shout out to you, Maddie J. Shout out to you, man. Shout out to Maddie J, man. So yeah, I got the two that. questions here. Um, you kind of answered them on the thing, but we'll, we'll it, it, just to me a little bit more specific. One guy says, uh, uh, "This is from KG. I have a question for you. I'm making 110k a year, but I work nice. 85 hours a week. Should I pay off my debt slash student loans or save to start a side business?" But I'd have to know what his goal was, right? I, yeah. I would have to know more, like what he wants. You know, here's the thing: making, making. How much he said he made? One hundred eighty. One hundred ten k a year. One hundred ten k a year. All right. So he's he's doing statistically, he's doing pretty well for himself. Yeah. Right? Like he's doing better than almost everyone. Yeah. <laughs> right. In he's in the top ten percent. Top ten percent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, the average the average American has less than a thousand dollars in the bank account. That's crazy. That's crazy, right? Can That's you scary. imagine it? That's scary, right? That's scary, you know, bro. and it's like um. You know, so he's doing pretty well for himself, but I, I'd have to know what the goals was, mm-hmm. right? Like what, what it, you know, what I'm saying, like I, it's too vague. It's, it, I, I don't know how to answer that without knowing where he wants to go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, because I would have to know how much debt you have, the interest rates, you know, what you want to start a side business, what the profitability of said side business would be, because some side businesses you could start with almost no capital, no, no, no capital. like an online business, for example. Get higher returns, and I would say no. Put off, you know, that you can start paying your debts off. But some businesses are going to require you to have an on-site location. Brick and mortar. It's going to take a lot of uh, capital. You might not be able to start paying your debts immediately. And so he didn't say whether or not he liked his job. Bam. Right? Like if you like your job and you get maybe 
let's say someone likes the job and they get to do it for eighty dollars a week, then maybe he doesn't need to do anything. I don't know that that's the case. Some people like their job, yeah, and that's cool, yeah. man. Like yeah. you know, um, Facts. some people hate their job. Some people, you know. Starting a business is not always the answer if you hate your job, right? You might hate the business too, right? You gotta, you gotta, I, I think you need to think about the lifestyle you want and then try to find a, a job or a business that fits that lifestyle, right? Right. right? You know what I'm saying? Because if, if, if money is just, if money is the only goal, right? And maybe it needs to be, if you, depending on where you're at, right? If you, yeah. depending on where you are on the, the hierarchy of needs, yeah. right? But, um, you know, I, I, you want to think about like lifestyle as well, right? Yeah. You know, um, <laughs> this is a tangent, and I, I thought about this this morning. It kind of just hit me. I, I posted it on Instagram, but I, I can Kato, by the way, for yeah, Instagram. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I think the passive income is great, but I think it's it's a little overrated because, and the way, the way I say it is because I, I don't think the goal should be to do nothing. Right, if you, you got to the point where it's all passive income, you did nothing, you'd probably get bored. Got Owen Cook in the chat, 100%. by the way. Right? Oh, Owen, Owen Cook, Owen, yo, Owen what Cook up? That was, chat, yo, Whoa, yo, Brandon. Owen, Owen's, uh, we mentioned you, Owen. Owen's, yep. my, I told you, man. Owen's my was uh, one of my first like mentors, man, and he like. Owen's he, a good guy, he, man. No, he's a he's a Genuine, good dude, man. He let me. I tell you, he let me stay at his fucking crib, mad times, his mansions, last just just cause he never he didn't have to do that. He's just a good dude, like and good. and. He, Genuine. I don't know, man. Um, I owe a lot to him, man. I learned a lot from him. You know, basically before I had employees, uh, I learned how he runs employees. I, you know, when I was certain points in my business, I would, I would, when we were trying to advance and take it to the next level, I would just call up Owen and be like, "Yo, man, what, 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 what do you think I should do? I know you have some um, uh, experience in in this in this in this realm, you know." And um, he was very generous. He's always been generous with his time, and just a just a good dude, just generous. And, in general, like when I was first learning how to public speak, oh, he's right? good at that. He's very yeah, good at he, that. he's one of the best. Right, yeah. he's one of the best. Seriously, Top and level. um, he just said, "Oh, come speak in my event," right? And he just <laughs> let me never. I never did public speaking before. And he just let me speak there, you know, and uh, to to get practice. Mm-hmm. And then he would invite me to other RSD events, and I would speak to. I was able to. He gave me a platform where I was able to kind of hone my skills. For like public speaking to like a big room, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, I, I owe a lot of my success to Owen, man. That's my that's my dog. Man. Get it? Straight you up. O N. Ah, no I see you did it. Beat me to it. Yeah, nah, that's I my tried, dog. man. You know I tried. Shout out to Owen Cook, uh, yeah, guys. Yeah, shout out to Owen Cook. Please man. have some more questions. The show's wrapping up, so oh. I told you guys in the chat. You guys keep doing it. So um, doing it okay, so yeah, that depends. And then oh. last one here, CJ Bond. Uh, uh, with your high ticket program, can I start a fitness business? Uh, uh, online fitness business with zero fitness experience. Yeah, so you you definitely you definitely can. Some of like some of our guys are. I mean, you can't be f- fucking fat, right? <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. but you don't have to be. You don't have to look like me. You already I've set obtainable goals, right? You know, it's like <laughs> like you don't you don't have to look like a fitness model. You just have to you know you you have to be in decent shape, right? You know, decent shape. And if you're not, you have to be willing to get in decent shape, right? Yeah. If you don't have a lot of experience training people, that's cool. Like, you know, we, we can walk you through that. A lot, a lot of our students come with not a lot of experience, not certified, none of that. And they end up making, you know, six figures, multiple six figures a year. You know? yeah. If you want more information about that, though, like, I don't I don't want to, like, go too much. If you want more information, click the link in the description. Yep. There's a free book, ebook that'll give you more sound. What, what I wanted to say about passive income, though, real quick, go I ahead. got distracted. And I know we got to read the thing. Um... The, job, the goal shouldn't be to do nothing. The goal yeah. should be able to, to do something that you'd be willing to do indefinitely. Facts, right? That, that's fun. That you, right? That you enjoy doing. You should yep. enjoy your life. You should enjoy. I mean, you might. It might take you a minute to get there. Right? You might have to work to you get to that point. But I can tell y'all love this shit. Even though y'all Yo. work hard, I can tell y'all y'all enjoy it. I love networking. And sometimes bro. it's hard. And yeah. sometimes it's difficult. But I can tell y'all love it. And I love what I do, man. You know. Um. And I think that's. That should be the goal. Or passive income is cool for, but they, you, you're gonna want to do something. If, if you can monetize yeah. your passion, then you you've won at life. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Most, most people can't. And if you can, I think that's that would be a good goal for you guys to set. You know, and if and if your passion is fitness, well, you should definitely click the link in the description, right? You know, because a lot of a lot of our students be like, man, you know, like, I can't believe I was doing this job or this thing, you know, and um. I could have been doing what I love for a living this whole time and making more money. Yep. You know, and that's what we show them how to do. Uh, the book, the book in the description would lead you down that path a little better. Yeah. yeah. No, it's a fantastic book, guys. Get it? Like I said, I was working a full time job as a, as a fucking special agent. I was still able to create six figure income doing it part time. Part time. You know what I'm saying? With a fairly small Instagram following back then, because remember, I wasn't lit like that. I was like actually being behind the scenes 
on Instagram. So you can definitely do it. He gives you all the steps. And for any of you guys that want to be personal trainers in person in a gym, uh, don't be stupid. Like, that's not the way to go in 2022, nah. guys. Like, if anything, this pandemic proved that, like, they can at any time shut the gyms down, fuck you up, and you can't make money. And that's you're trading fact. time for money, which is a poor man's that's game. You don't want to do and, that. And they're in, they run, they take half your income. Yep. They take half your they income. They pimp you out, man. They're pimping you, you. You much like a prostitute. Like, you're working. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're getting paid by the hour. You know what I'm saying? You know, you're training people by the hour. You know, and, uh, you know, with when online training, you're getting paid for results, not for the hour you work. Bam. Now, right? And we in, I can't get into it now, but in the book we show how our students get better results for their online clients than most trainers get for their in person clients. Absolutely right. And I, I don't have time to get into it because I know you got to wrap it up. But yep. the book, a book, the book will lead you down that path and show you. Get the, the book, guys. Link is below, guys. It's free. You know free. what I'm saying? You, it, like, there's no excuse. It's free. It's right there, top of the link. Get it. Read through it, and uh, you're gonna learn a lot. But other than that, guys, like the video. We're going to get going here with a late night show with some lovely ladies that are here. We've got special guests coming right now. Actually, they're here uh, downstairs, so you can get surprised on this show as well. All right. Bang, bang. So we'll catch you guys in a little bit. Uh, like the video. He's Brandon Carter. Follow him on Instagram at King Keto. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. I Brandon love your Carter. fans. I Tag. love y'all, man. <laughs> no, for real. Like, they, they show me a lot of love last they time do. I was on here, so this I appreciate episode, that. Watch, rewatch it multiple rewatch times. It. On Brandon's part with the uh, whiteboard is so much value here, guys. All right, guys. Timestamps will be up soon. Love you guys. We'll be back in a little bit with some lovely ladies. Peace. Peace.